Your chat is going so fast. I missed you. <laughs> I don't want to do this ever again. Watch me do this next year. I don't want to do this ever again. It was so hard. <laughs> It was so hard not to talk with you every day. Wee! How are you guys doing? Do you miss me? You guys miss me or was I the only one that was going to Lulu? <laughs> Please tell me I wasn't the only one. <laughs> it has been 84 years. Hadaima des. Kaitekimashita. Thank you guys. I missed you too. I was I was reaching. I think I did a post for my members the other day. I was reaching. I was reaching a limit because <laughs> usually I take um I take one month per year as like my annual vacations, so I can have like a small mental break if you can call it that way. But then it was like month and a half, month and a half, and I was already feeling it. I was like, <laughs> I woke up super early to go to work when I was in Japan, and I was taking a bath, and I was I was using a hair treatment, and when I was when I was just chilling, I think it was more than two months. No, like two months in total. Yeah. And I was using a hair treatment, I was chilling in the bathroom, and then it just suddenly hit me. I was, I was like, I can't. I miss him so much. So I ended up writing the longest paragraph that I've written in my in a membership post. <laughs> it was such a clingy liver. I'm like, guys, I'm taking a bath and I miss you. I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> I'm about to go to work, but I miss you. I hope you're having an amazing day. <laughs> it was in in like like a summary. The post was like that. Hmm. <laughs> least least pair social. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should text my ex energy. You're not my ex. What are you talking about? Uh, have you guys been doing okay this past two months? Have you guys been feeling okay both mentally and emotionally and physically? How how has it been going for you? Hmm. <clears throat> You've been surviving. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Just thank you so much, the Alka Super. I'll be reading every. I feel I'm. <laughs> you guys have been going crazy with the members and the supas. That I I I will read them, Chanto. I promise. <laughs> thank you. You've been working out more. I've. I think I worked out this this entire month. That almost it was two weeks and a half. Almost three weeks that I was in Japan. I think I. I worked out as much as I usually work out in an entire year. I think after this, I'm not gonna move a single muscle. I should! I just don't want to. It was so much work. Uh, I can't wait to tell you guys 20% of what happened because the rest of them is NDA. <laughs> oh, she's back? I cannot wait to tell you 20% of what happened because the rest of it is secret. <laughs> hmm. Otsukane-sama. Otsu! <clears throat> Your body will start craving the exercise? No, I'm quite good just chilling on my sofa. Not gonna lie. Japan was crazy. Japan was so, so crazy. I loved, I loved it, but... I think I was talking about it with the girls the other day. When they were asking, like, would you, like, actually want to, like, come here and live? And I, I genuinely told them, like, if I were given the chance... If I were given the chance to go live in Japan, I would... If they... If they... If I can give enough paperwork for me to bring Mimi, I will 100% go. Um... I know that bringing pets to Japan is a little bit troublesome. Because they require, like, a lot of, like, procedure and, like, paperwork and stuff. But I would definitely do it. If I cannot bring Mimi, I probably won't. 
<laughs> she's my heart. She's my baby. And she's like my... My... Number one best medicine for like any mental struggle. But if I could, I would definitely... Would. It's just that... By... By... Loki, by the second week, I was already getting tired just because, um... It's... The hotel that Niji got me was really nice, don't get me wrong. It was really nice. It was... The internet was crazy. I think they expected me to stream. I mean, we're library, so they did their research and gave me a hotel with, like, pretty... Super good internet. Especially because I have a um, Ethernet table. Yeah, it had a it had a bathtub. It had a really nice bed. It had a, a, like a really nice table where I could put you know my stuff. And the internet was really nice. But also when yeah, it was a really nice hotel. But after like two weeks, I'm gonna sound so spoiled. But after two weeks, I was getting tired. Because, you know, I was like, I would totally live in Japan, but I'm, I'm already tired of, like, living in one room only, you know? I miss my home. I miss having my studio in a different room than... Yeah, I was just getting homesick. At my different studio from, you know, my bedroom. And I missed having a kitchen. Um... And I just missed having my, you know, my own homemade food. And I miss having Mimi. You know? Yeah, it's just totally different from staying at your home than a hotel. Hotel, you enjoy it. But <laughs> when you're reaching almost the one month mark, you, you start missing your home. <laughs> and then... And then when I came back home, and I, I fell asleep so fast in my bed. And then I woke up, and I woke up so happy. I was like, I miss this bed so much. The, the hotel bed was really nice, but like, there's nothing like my own bed. <laughs> I think it's something psychological behind it. <clears throat> it's really nice. I bought... I bought so many, um, bath salts at the com... At, not the company, like the pharmacy. At first, I bought like a bunch of like... For your skin, for beauty, and then after I started like working, working, <laughs> I working, working, I set aside the, the the beauty bath bombs, and I just went to the pharmacy again and just bought a bunch of medicinal ones. <laughs> the ones that, like for 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 body pain, for back pain, to relax your muscles. I was like, I need this. <laughs> I feel like a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice though. It was really, really nice. I met so many people this time. Guys, I met so many of my friends this time. I am so happy. Is Raymond Idol now? No, I suck. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not so much into idols. I like the music though. I just I'm not into not in the sense that I don't like them, it's just that I wasn't really that deep into like the live performances. I don't know a lot of idol groups. I think my musical preferences go a little bit more towards the Utaite one rather than idols, but I do enjoy their music quite a lot. And after like all the work, <laughs> after all the work, in the first day, I remember there was one thing specifically that I cannot talk about that I was, you know, in detail. And after I, after like 20 minutes, I was like, how do, how do they do it, man? <laughs> I think I was with Etheria. <laughs> it was an Etheria day. I was sweating. I was like, my, uh, my legs, both of my legs were hurting. I looked, I looked horrible when I sweat, okay? I sweat a lot. And also, I don't know why. I really don't know why, but when I work out, my face becomes like super red. It's not like I'm it's not that I don't feel like I can I cannot breathe or you know I I lack oxygen no it's just I'm I'm completely okay it's just that for some reason my whole face becomes red like a, a bright tomato I remember the first time staff son, the first time that it happened staff son was like are you okay cuz like <laughs> it 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 not, without exaggerating it's really bright uh 
So I looked like a mess. My hair was a mess. I was sweating. My face was really red. My face, my my legs and butt were hurting. And I and the first thing that came to my mind was like, how do idols do this bullshit? I was like, how do they do this? <laughs> I was like, how do they manage to like do this choreography plus sing? But okay, that's two things that are we can do it. It would turn enough. But also like, how do they look pretty while doing it? <laughs> that was the main thing for me. I was like, how do they? How? Because I'm sweaty. My hair becomes ugly when I sweat. Because I have you know my front bangs. My hair is really long. So with sweat, it just becomes quite ugly. My face is super bright red, so I wouldn't look pretty even with the makeup. And I was like, how do they do this? <laughs> I was, I gained a whole level of respect. I already did respect them, not gonna lie. I'm not looking down on them. But like after that, they, I think they, they went a, a little bit like higher up in my respect stairs. <laughs> after that, I was like, how the f I was like, oh, how, how do they do it? <laughs> it was really funny though. <laughs> it was really, really fun. I enjoyed it so, so much. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and then even, even, if, even if like at the hotel, I would start like feeling the pain even more. Especially the next day, you go just super tired. Your body's hurting a little bit, but it's fine. You go to sleep. And then when you wake up, oh, when you wake up. <laughs> Even after feeling that pain, I would laugh. I was like, I cannot believe... <laughs> I cannot believe I'm this bad. Because... <laughs> I, I am so... Thanks to you guys and thanks to Niji, I've been... You know... I've been learning to love... You know... How do I say this without sounding like too stuck up? I've been learning to love a little bit more. To love myself a little bit more. Especially when it comes to singing. I take pride in all of Etheria. I take pride in how we can sing, the three of us. And that was enough for me. But then after this trip... After this trip, I was like, it's not enough. <laughs> I was like, singing good is not enough. I need to work more. <laughs> it was really nice because it gave me like an incentive, you know? Like, not like, you know, people that stop. Yeah, it was like a new motivation. People that stop and like, just just give up on practicing something else. It, it, they just become stale in a sense. You need to like keep on improving yourself. <laughs> like... And like after this, I was like, being good at singing is not enough. <laughs> and then I knew this already, but you kind of felt it more quite directly. I started to appreciate way more. I started to appreciate like singers and entertainers, like professional singers, like, I don't know, Shakira, Beyonce, literally anybody that does like lives. I appreciated them way more because I already knew I knew the theory I knew the theory so I was like pretty goddamn like grateful and thankful of their efforts but after that you're like Jesus Christ <laughs> this is crazy just being good at singing is not enough <laughs> to like give a performance <laughs> So it's really nice that Niji Sanji was able not the message redacted <laughs> Niji Sanji was able to like show me, show me that too. Mini Scooter, thank you so much. The Akasu, Akasu, thank you. You cannot fool me with that one, though. I got two. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. The Akasu, thank you. Um. So yeah, it was really fun. I wish I could show you a bunch of pictures. I was. Sending Ray Mama was calling me every day. She made sure to call me. She made sure to text me Really early in Japan's morning because it's really late at night over at hers and then we would always well most of the time I think I like Let's just say We called almost every day except for like two days 
And we would always, uh... Video call at night. When I, like, came tired after work. And she would just ask me how my day was going, how work was, if I was feeling okay. Just, like, updates. Um... And she would, she would ask me to like show her a bunch of like Japan's photos and what I was up to. And after like talking with her and, re and like reading the backlog of our chats, I realized that I only take pictures of food. Like, I know that I can only show certain pictures on stream. But even the ones that I cannot show on the stream. Because of A or B, it was only food. And Ray Mama was like, what are you? Oh, maybe I said like two, maybe like three, maybe only three. <laughs> In like the almost three weeks that I was, I almost, I only took pictures of like human beings, like three times only. And those three times were like photos of like all the people that would take of us. Like I would not take it. And Ray Mama was like, what are you gonna show me your friends? <laughs> like she already knows the names. She knew what we were up to, but she was like, do you take a picture? And I was like, no, I forgot. <laughs> she was like, show me something other than food. Um, she was like, when are you gonna go out and see the Sakura? And I was like, there was no Sakura in Tokyo when we went, guys. There was almost no sakura. There, there was like one or maybe two, maybe three trees every now and then. I'm not sure if that was sakura or plum, but... There was so little. I went to... I forgot the name. Ueno. Ueno Park? But it was already at like at night, because... Because I was busy <laughs> doing work throughout the entire morning and afternoon. So I would go... Um, to Uena Park. I did go to Uena Park once at night and we saw this beautiful big super big sakura tree and I took a picture of it but honestly my picture skills my photography skills are not the best and it came out a little bit blurry and also it was night you cannot see a, a lot of like the detail even with my amazing phone camera and I sent that to Rei Mama I was like I finally saw sakura today and she was like what the fuck is this shit ass picture <laughs> <laughs> it's your finally you get a chance to go outside because you're not working you go to this pretty park you finally see the sakura but you take this ugly picture <laughs> i was like i'm so sorry i gave my memes <laughs> oh man Ugh. we're aiming with the cameras like with guns hey i'm betting at shooting <laughs> that says a lot <laughs> ah, I am. It's finally hitting me. I'm home and I want to stream, but also I'm so tired. But I will stream. I will have next week's schedule posted on Sunday for memories. Do I post? I forgot already. I don't even know how to stream anymore. Do I usually post my schedules on Saturday or Sundays for members? Can you remind me? <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes Saturday night? Sundays? I think I post them on Sundays, no? On Saturdays late night. Oh, okay. For photography course. Thank you. <laughs> Man. Okay. Where should I start? It's just so much happening. I cannot summarize everything that happened in two weeks. And also I cannot talk about everything. Here's the thing. So Etheria... Etheria went strictly to Japan for work. I'm gonna be honest. Let's start with that. Etheria, all of the Etheria girls were there for work. Uh, Wiwa was there for... To chill, but also for... The main purpose of her trip was also work. Um... The rest of the people that came to Japan, they just came because they wanted to have fun. I'm gonna be honest. They just came for vacations. <laughs> I, they ended up finding out... I don't know why, that Etheria was gonna go to Japan. I don't know if they thought that we were gonna go for vacations or something, but the rest of them were like... Oh, we're going to Japan? Okay, I, I will go to Japan too! And then the three of us were like... Huh? <laughs> so... <laughs> the rest of the people, yeah, the rest of the people that tagged along... Along... Went for vacations. A lot of, um... 
a lot of the trips and a lot of the activities they end up they might end up like talking about i'm i'm gonna be honest i don't know exactly what finana has said so far um we were not able to join them most we were able to join them only at night i i, I think i did say this on membership uh on a membership stream but um our schedule or at least my schedule was um wake up at seven in the morning eight in the morning go to work at like 10 sometimes nine and not gonna lie i would like go out like our work would end and i could i was finally free at like sometimes 7 p.m sometimes 10 p.m and most of the times 99% of the times I would when I would get back to the hotel it would be midnight already so I would take a bath I would check what I had to do the next day I would change into my pajamas and then I would pass out that's why I could not stream that much like last time I was in Japan because of vacations remember guys I think it was around like January and I streamed more even even in October. In October, my workload was not as bad as this one. <laughs> I was only working on one project. Um, so I had time at night, but I, 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 I couldn't find any time to stream. I am so sorry, even though I promised you. Did you have fun? It was fun, despite it being like a work trip and despite um, the schedule being so hard and so heavy and so physically taxing. I enjoyed every single day be at work or like one of the few very very few rest days that we got Etheria was let me just get it straight Etheria was so busy that we stayed there for like two weeks and a half and for the totality of the two weeks and a half we had probably only like four days four free days like actually actually free days only four if I am not misremembering anything. So you guys might feel a little bit how how much we were like cooking and stuff. Um and uh and the the few rest days that we would get, we were so tired that we would actually just stay in the hotel <laughs> all day. We had like no energy left to just go out and be tourists. I would just sleep sleep in super late wake up eat something take a nice long bath and sleep again that's what we would usually do on our rest days we could only join the rest of the people at like at night because that's when we would we would be done with our work so most of the time that i hang i hanged out with the group was when we were eating at night <laughs> yeah you surely have memorized all of Tokyo? No, not all of Tokyo, but... I memor <laughs> I did memorize the train line that I would always take. <laughs> and for safety, I'm not gonna say it, but... <laughs> I know there's a lot of people in Tokyo, I know! But just for safety, <laughs> for safety <laughs> reasons, I'm not gonna say which line. <laughs> but I completely memorized the station and the line. <laughs> <clears throat> Is the other people a crisis? Uh, who came to Japan? <laughs> I think it was... Crisis except, uh, Sally? I think it was Claude. I, who else came to Japan? We were there, but we was working with us. Petra was there, but Petra was also working with us. And also, Petra is... Petra lives in Japan. Hmm, <clears throat> I think Finana. Yeah. It was fun, though. Mr. Shu also came. <clears throat> Luca? <laughs> I love hanging out with Luca. <laughs> Do you feel mentally refreshed now? Um, not really. Not because... No, because it was a work trip. I do feel motivation. I don't feel like I rested at all because I did not rest. <laughs> I did not rest. <laughs> but... I am not tired from work, if that makes sense. Because they gave me like a new motivation. So I'm hanging out on that one. I have so many projects that we were working on. You guys. For you guys. 
you guys have not seen yet they gave me the motivation after like killing me <laughs> at the studio <laughs> but it was really nice <laughs> staff staff sound from the studio was so nice i don't know i'm probably not gonna say too much but <laughs> it was really really nice um you meet with Kiwawa? I did. I did. It was during the last days. I met so many people. I met so many people. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I met with so many senpais. Um, people outside of the con. So many people outside of Niji. It was really nice. That's why they gave me like this reason of like Loki wanted to move to Japan because nobody that works with me. In this, like... I don't know, work environment? Nobody lives near me. But when I was in Japan... Last time I was in Japan, I did not meet that much, pe that many people. But I don't know why this time in Japan, I met so many. And I was so, so happy. It was so... I don't know. It, I was really happy to finally meet the people that I've been talking and working with and collabing with for so many years. It was really nice. So I met, um... Try not to forget. <laughs> I cannot name a few individuals because we said that we were gonna wait a little bit more before saying it. And know that this sounds like <laughs> this sounds like I'm secretly dating someone, but no, it's a bunch of girls. <laughs> it's the people that I went, the people that I went with with Disney <laughs> to Disney. <laughs> we cannot tell the children until they're ready to hear the news. <laughs> we're gonna keep it secret a little bit. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about the Disney. Maybe later. Maybe later, but, um... <laughs> um... Dating girls is fine. Only girls? <laughs> we probably won't believe it anyway. <laughs> so I met, um... Iniji, I met, uh... Yukun! Hayu! It was the first... Yo, I was so mad. Not at Helm, at like life itself, because um, last time that he came to Japan, he came to Japan the exact day that I was leaving. And I remember I was texting him. I was like, how dare you, mother trucker? You, you should have told me the day where you were coming to Japan. I would have extended my trip a little, like at least for two days. How dare you? And he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that you were in Japan. And I was like, I didn't know you were coming to Japan. So like after, I think you saw the tweet, but I was already in Japan working and I saw his tweet of like, I, I arrived in Japan. I was like, oh, you mother trucker. We gotta, we gotta meet. We gotta go have a nice dinner. Um, so, um, we planned to go to an izakaya first. Just to relax and drink a lot. <laughs> and then Etheria tagged along. I think Million Million and I was like, we're like, oh, you're gonna see Hayo? And I was like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go chill in Izakaya. Cause Izakaya food is really nice. And they're like, we wanna meet Hayo too! So they tagged along. <laughs> and I told Hayo and Hayo was like, alright, we need to like maybe an Izakaya is too small. Maybe we need to go to an actual restaurant. <laughs> so so props to Yunkun, he was the one that looked for the restaurants and booked everything. Um so sounds like they were third willing. No, it was really nice. It was a really nice cookie, like atmosphere. So too small, how big was your party? It was just a theory and Yunkun. And we ended up meeting for <laughs> white. <laughs> <laughs> I brought chocolates for Etheria. I actually brought like um these chocolate bowls with like coffee beans inside. They were really good from Colombia. So I was like, we're not gonna receive any chocolate. Fuck man, we don't need them. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring us our own chocolates. So I brought our own chocolates and then when we <clears throat> when we met with Yunkun and then we were at the restaurant, Hayud actually gave Every single Ethereum member, this small, like... <laughs> this small, like, Sakura suite. In, like, this really cute pink box. 
He got Etheria, every single member of Etheria, a pity white date present. I can. <laughs> We were, we were, yeah, he's such a gentleman. <laughs> he's such a, he's such a sweet man. <laughs> but the three of us were like, we got chocolate. <laughs> the game. Don't call it Petey. It felt like that though. <laughs> the three of us were like, yay, we got chocolate for my day. <laughs> And Yunkun was just like sitting there just smiling like the usual and he was like Yo <laughs> It was really funny <laughs> I know right chocolate is chocolate <laughs> He's really kind. Uh, why does that sound so sad? I mean <laughs> It was really good. I ate them as soon as I went back to the hotel. It was really good <laughs> Um, he's so sweet. I know um, wait, do I have the picture of the things that we had with Yunkun? I only took one picture. Uh, well, let me... Let me crop this. <clears throat> Seems like you'll have fun. Yeah, we talked so much. I like the fact that... Um... I like the fact that Etheria is not shy when it comes to a uh, language barrier. And Yunkun is super, super chill, so... It was this weird mix of like Japanese and English where I would be translating everything that Millie was saying. But also, Yunkun would like use a lot of like Google Translator every time that he had like he wanted to say something and, and I would like 50 50 understand, 50 50 try to communicate. It was really nice. Like it didn't feel. It didn't feel awkward at all, even though a lot of people. Even though, you know, the the communication issue was there it felt so smooth it was really nice let me i think this is the sashimi give me a sec i remember i i got to this one line where we were supposed to meet i think anna and Millie were a little bit late because it was their work day and we were like this huge park and it was pretty late at night and i got lost <laughs> And then Yunkun had to call me through Discord and he was like, where you at? And I was like, I don't know, I'm lost. And he was like, can you send me a picture of like your location? So I sent it to him and he was like, oh, keep walking straight. And I'm like, I'm scared. And he was like, keep walking straight. And I was like, okay. And then he was like, do you see me? And I was like, I, you don't tell me that. I was looking around like, no. And he was like, I see you. And I was like, where? <laughs> Cause I don't know why everybody in Japan wears freaking like gray and black. I don't see shit. My eyes are so bad. Everything was so dark and every single person was wearing the same black winter jacket. And I was like, how am I supposed to do? And he was like, you're Loki, the only person in this park with like a white long coat. And I was like, <laughs> I just like white. Ninety percent of my of my closet is just white clothes, and he was like, "It's really easy to spot you." So he ended up like waving, and I was like, "Yeah." Girl. And then we just waited for the girls. Everybody wears black. I know. Oh my God. And also, I have white hair, and my hair is really long. So I was just like, Psh. the bulb, the light bulb in that part, apparently. Let me show you the sashimi. Did I download this? Rainbow cosplaying as Rainbow. My hair is a light bulb and I was wearing a white winter jacket. I don't know why the pictures always get so big. Like, what is your problem? <laughs> this is one of the things that we had. It was a really nice... Sashimi. It came with like soup, and then we had more soup, and then we had gyoza. But this sashimi was so good. It's my first time eating shrimp. I think both Anna and Yunkun were like eating like the entire um shrimp, even like the head. They're like, <laughs> and I was like, what the? And apparently, the shrimp brain is really, really nice. I didn't- I couldn't have it, because I don't know. I'm annoying when it comes to eating. 
So I, I could I just like ate the body. It was really good. And then and I you and Gun were telling Millie to like eat the shrimp head because apparently yeah, apparently it was like the best part of the shrimp. And then when she had it, she just <laughs> she was like <laughs> so after I saw that face, I was like, all right, I'm not gonna have it. <laughs> she said that it was too slimy. <laughs> so after I, after I saw her face, I was like, okay, I'm just having the body like I usually do with sushi. You can have the head. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it was more about the texture. It was really slimy. Yeah, it was way different than the usual shrimp sushi that we that we have. I don't know what these are. I always keep forgetting what these are. How do you call this? What are these? These were my favorite, aside from like salmon. That's a lemon. No, you dumbass. A scallops. There we go. <laughs> The <laughs> fucking lemons. <laughs> Scallop. These are so good. Guys, these are so, so good. I think next time, if I end up going there again, I think I'm just gonna ask for like a... A, a, a plate full of these and this only. They were so good. I ate so much ponzu. I actually thought you meant the lemon. <laughs> no, no, it's the scallops. Um... I was eating so much ponzu. Uh, hmm. It didn't matter to which restaurant we would go. The chef would sometimes tell us to like, Oh, you could have this with like this sauce. We recommend it. Or we should, or you should only have it with this sauce. And I was like, I don't care. Poor ponzu. <laughs> I had everything with ponzu. I had ponzu alcohol. I had ponzu lemonade. I had ponzu juice. I had ponzu boba. I had ponzu sauce. <laughs> there was... <laughs> <laughs> there was one time that the chef Loki got mad at us and he was like you don't you don't eat the meat like that and I was like all right thank you for telling me and then when the chef went away I was like pour us more ponzu I was like the ponzu is so nice <laughs> ponzu or yuzu well yuzu for like the, the drinks right yuzu alcohol yuzu boba yuzu lemonade a ponzu is the is the sauce with yuzu. So I would still I would pour and dip everything with ponzu. I didn't care. There were so many options and I was like, where's the ponzu? <laughs> what else? So many things. I had so much Chinese food. I think I think Yeah, ponzu. Yeah. Ponzu. <laughs> there's boba ponzu yes there's so yo i was having such a blast ordering different kinds of boba with uber eats <laughs> i loved it um i had dinner with etheria we found this really nice sushi restaurant with like a private room we always had to get private rooms because we're loud as fuck and we don't want to get doxxed. So we were trying to find a private room. And we found one that was really close to where we were. But the thing is, we went out really late after work with Etheria and it was freezing. It was freezing, freezing. And we were trying to find this sushi restaurant with Google Maps and we couldn't find it. We literally went around like this building in circles probably like four times until we looked a little bit more into the google maps image and we were like i recognize this lamp i recognize this street lamp haven't we been there like three times already so when we came right in front of the street lamp that we recognized we noticed that the place was like hidden like the the front view of this restaurant literally looks like a building under construction it looked so sketchy at first when we saw it we were like did we get scammed <laughs> did we get scammed <laughs> it just looked like a whole building under construction you had to go through it like if i see a building under construction you don't go inside right you usually don't go in because it's under construction 
So we had to go in, go upstairs, and then to the right, this little door. It looks so sketchy, but it, it has been the best. It has been the best sushi restaurant that we've ever been to, to the point that Etheria is gatekeeping this restaurant. <laughs> Every time that we would talk about this restaurant, only Manisan knows. Every time that we talk about this restaurant with like other Nijian members and they would ask like, where do you guys eat? And we were like, we're not gonna tell you. Fuck you, this is Etheria restaurant now. <laughs> Nobody but Etheria and Etheria money knows this restaurant was so good. It was the best. I drank so much of my. Um, I was gonna say umeshu, 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 umeshu. Is that how you say it? Yeah, I drank so much umeshu. It's our secret spot, and the, it was my first time ever eating a swordfish. It was so nice. We ate swordfish. We ate so many other Japanese fish that apparently don't have an English name. And I don't remember anymore. It was like flamed swordfish. Other kinds of Japanese fish. And it was so nice. We ate... Okay, you might not like this image. It's just a bunch of like raw fish. We ate this little um, baby... I don't know if these are octopus or... <laughs> or squid, but... They were so nice. I was low-key crying when I was eating it because they actually looked a little bit cute. I was like, you don't believe I'm eating babies. I'm a horrible person. But they tasted so good. I think this is a swordfish. Let me show you. Swordfish. It was like a course of like sushi. So the chef and the... I don't know how you call it. The sub chef. I don't know. It would come in with like one piece of sushi um for like all the four of us and uh he would come prepared because he already knew the four we we went there twice <laughs> we went there twice and he was like he would translate every single fish and would like explain it as much as he could in english the staff was really 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 nice that was a swordfish I don't remember this next fish because he said that it was a Japanese fish and it probably did not have an English translation. It was this one. That's my umeshu at the back. I drank so much umeshu. <laughs> I remember the first... I remember the first day's chat. The first day that we went to uh, the sushi restaurant. Um. Apparently we ordered so much umeshu that they ran out of umeshu. And then the same after we ended up eating and we were still at the restaurant, we actually asked the no way, yeah, we, we they ran out of umeshu. That's how much we were drinking. <laughs> Cause it's the there's different kinds of you don't understand. It wasn't my first time. It wasn't my first time tasting umeshu. I've always liked umeshu, but for some reason, I don't know why the that umeshu from that restaurant was the best one I've ever had in all my trips to Japan. To the point that I asked them to show me the bottle and I took a picture. I did not find it in the airport and I'm heartbroken. But the next time that I go to Japan, I'm buying the bottle. <laughs> I'm buying the bottle and I'm carrying it to the hotel. I don't care. We have the picture of the specific umeshu that the restaurant had. Because it's been the best one ever. So we drank so much umeshu that they ran out of umeshu. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you guys... <laughs> They didn't tell us you guys drank all the umeshu. But they were like, there's no there's no more umeshu left. We have like this hidden ako menu in case you guys want to try it. It's not in the menu, but I could recommend you ones that we have. And I was like, oh! Um, so they have three different ones. They had momo, which is peach. Sort of like peach alcohol. They had yuzu. They had yuzu and I forgot the other one. Or three. Yeah, it was like hidden alcohol menu. I forgot the other one. So they gave us like uh, uh, a glass of each and then we tried it. The, the Momo one, the peach one was super sweet. I liked it, but it was too sweet. And everybody else ended up liking, um, can we know the Omisha brand? I did not take the picture. I am I could ask Manesan to give it to me. <laughs> Someone sent it to her. My, oh my god, is she taking a break already? We told her to take a break. 
Oh, it's fine, right? It's okay, she's still not on vacation. <laughs> Do you have... Th Wait, did she send it to me? I think she sent it to me on Discord. Give me a second. Let me check DMs first. No, maybe in the area chat. Did she forget to send me the picture? <laughs> that omesh is the best omesh. Wait, no, money, 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 money. Etheria with money. Etheria with money, son. Ass, pictures. Oh, yeah, we. Oh, heck yeah. Wait, no, I cannot show it because we have hands. Let me just show you the name. I think these are the chef hands. We, I literally asked them to bring the bottle. It was that good. I was like, can I see? I need to see. This is the best Umeshu ever. I need to see the bottle. And they were like, at, at, at first they were like a little bit confused, but they were like, oh, we can do that. <laughs> this. Oh, it's so small. What happened? <laughs> Guys, this, this is like the, um, the name that appears on the bottle. Ume Sake by Kane. I don't know. But this one, if you find this one, but uh, <laughs> is the best, is the best Umeshu that I've ever had in my entire life. And after I go to Japan, I swear to God, I'll do my very best. Kore o isso, anonda koto aru? Ima made ichiban suki na Umeshu datta kore. Mechakcha hamatte ta yo. Next time I go to Japan, is that expensive? I have no idea if it's expensive or not. I never found it. Next time that I go to Japan, I will buy this. I will do my best to find it and buy it. Nonnemita, <laughs> Maji <laughs> it's good that it might be expensive? I don't know. You found it? It's not that expensive. It's 2k yen. It's not that expensive. Can you send me the link? Maybe I can order it through Amazon. Do you find it? Can you link it to me? Sasuga. <laughs> Phantom Oh, we love cheap alcohol. Cheap, super yummy alcohol. <clears throat> they have can. They have it. Kane Shuzo website? What? Really? Kane. Alcohol Kane. Kane. There's an official website of Kane. <gasps> yes! Wait. Kane. Takes so much time to load. Kane alcohol. <laughs> Holy shit. We love. I love Japan so much. I don't understand this website. I don't understand this website. Kane alcohol umeshu. Shiravita la detekita? Eh. Link water. Shoga umeshu. Is it this one? I don't think it's this one. No, it's a different one. Is somebody give me the link? <laughs> anyway. Kane shozu. Ka. I love how my phantom has helped me find my omission. It's so nani takaku nai yo! Naka naka i. De sho? So nani takaku nai yo! Kon nani oishikatta no ni! I i jo! Takaku nai! Takaku nai kedo mecha oishi sake ga maji de saikyo jo nai! <laughs> I'm telling them like, isn't it the best sake, the one that's cheap, but also super yummy? Psycho <laughs> yeah. Alright. <clears throat> what else did we do? Anyways, yeah, we gate kept the restaurant. We gate kept it. We didn't even tell the other members where the restaurant was or even the name. 
this became Etheria's hidden secret spot. We will go there every time that we go to Japan. <laughs> After that, I'm t I'm, go I'm I'm honestly not following a, a timeline because my there's so much I spend so much time over there. I already forgot. What area is the restaurant in? In my heart. <laughs> I will gatekeep it so hard. I will never let you guys attempt to dox us. I will never. This is Etheria and Etheria's only. Good luck finding it. You'll never, you'll never will. This is our restaurant now, our safe haven. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't even tell you the area. <laughs> um, what else? Um... Oh my god, during the first days, I remember during the first days, I ate um, Chinese hot pot. It was my first time ever eating Chinese hot pot. I love how my timeline is just made by like, what did I eat? I, rem I, I look at the food pictures and I'm like, oh, okay, so it was this day. What did we do that day? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was really nice. I think after, after a while, we ate hot pot like loki like three times to the point that after that i was like no more hot pot and they were like what do you want to eat i'm like no hot pot we had we had it so much that i loki was like no more this is really good but let's eat something else um so anna took us to this chinese restaurant this chinese hot pot restaurant it was so good and anna was so happy because loki i've discovered that I actually might love Chinese food. I know that it was like the Japanese version, but I liked it more than Japanese shabu shabu. And shabu shabu is pretty damn good. But this one was so good. The soup was so nice, guys. Look at the. Oh my god, it's so big. Let me see. I love me some good spices. The soup had so much, so much flavor. I love that the Japanese food is really subtle. It's really nice and simple. You feel how the ingredient actually tastes. But sometimes, because I come from Latin America, sometimes we like our stuff like with a little bit of like extra spice. And with that, I mean like seven different spices. And from what I know, and I understand Chinese people love using a bunch of spices too. And I, I don't mean like spice spice, uh, you know, spicy. I just mean spices. And this soup has so much flavor. You guys had no idea how good this this soup tasted. You didn't even need like the extra sauces that you get for like uh, dipping. We did dip our stuff in like different kinds of sauces. It was Wewa and then Etheria. So good. It, you, is it spicy? No, it wasn't spicy. We ordered the non-spicy one because I'm not good with spice. The soup, what, the soup flavor was so good and so so rich that we barely had to use um extra sauces for the for the meat. Look at everything that we ate. I mean, that was like only one plate. I think we ended up getting like five different plates of like meat. It was so, and it was actually so pretty. Every single meat was like arranged this way on different plates. It was so pretty. It was so pretty to look at, and it tasted so damn good. Hmm. <clears throat> also, during this trip, I, 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 I finally was able to eat lotus root for the first time ever. I've never been able to eat lotus root because it's really weird to find it here. And I became obsessed. I love lotus root so much. Can you describe the taste? I don't know how to describe it. it I don't know. I just love lotus root so much. I, I kept on ordering it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we ordered some veggies. And every time that we would order veggies, Millie would be like, Who ordered veggies? Because <laughs> she was the one that would order a bunch of meat. And then Anna and I, and sometimes we were like, we need a little bit of like veggies. And then we would, and then we ordered like this big plate that you see in the image. And then when it came, Millie would be like, "Who ordered vegetables?" <laughs> and I kept on ordering. I kept on ordering lotus root because it was so nice. <laughs> it was so, I 
also ate was it octopus or was it squid i don't know it's one of those two the little squid balls or octopus i think it's squid balls you just like put in the soup and then you wait a little bit i think both squid balls and lotus root are the ones that stay a little bit more in the in the hot pot it was so good i ate so much i when i go back to japan and if Ethereum is there, I will ask them to go back to this specific restaurant. It was so good. Mm. Can tell the difference of taste between octopus and squid? No. <laughs> I like both, so I didn't care. <laughs> it was so good, guys. And then we had another hot pot with the... I think this one just with Wiwa and Etheria because it was like after... It was really late after work, so it was only, you know, the four of us. And then another day when we could finally like join the rest of the group that was there to like chill. We had hot pot again. <laughs> it was at a different restaurant, but... <laughs> this is me. <laughs> I took this one. How do you know it's me? Because the giant lotus root plate is in front of me. <laughs> Everybody was having meat. Everybody was having the rest of the things and I was just there Putting all the lotus root in the soup and eating all the lotus root <laughs> That bowl I ate like 90% of that bowl <laughs> Everybody else was eating meat like a normal person. I was just there eating all the lotus root <laughs> It was so good <laughs> I'm so sad that I cannot get them here. I'm gonna miss them so much. I'm a Lotus Root fan. That's that's my Ponzu. <laughs> By the way, that's my Ponzu song. Everybody else had like at least three three little plates with like different kinds of sauces, and I'm like, I just want Ponzu and like chives. <laughs> I only need Ponzu in my life. <laughs> It's so good. The meat looks so good. Yeah, you look at the meat. I'm in love with like that that big ass bowl of lotus fruit. <laughs> That's all I need in life to be happy. I think I'm just. Can somebody draw a lotus root PNG so I can set it on this desk? Actually, like I wanna, I wanna do this. Can can I get a new asset? Can I get a lotus root asset so I can put it in this desk? <laughs> That's the only- that's really the only play in front of me. I only wanted the lotus root. That's how bad I was during the trip. Everybody else was sharing the meat with the squid balls. I think Millie ended up getting spam. There was more- there was more meat at the back and I was just there with my lotus root. <laughs> I was enjoying it though. <laughs> It was so good. Huh, give me a second. I want to drink water. <laughs> how does it taste? I don't know how to describe it. It just tastes like lotus root. <laughs> it's really nice. It's just really nice. You had this hot... Yeah. We went there. I'm gonna be honest. The one before, I liked it more. Because the soup was more... Flavorful. This one was really good. Not gonna lie. Um, and we had so much meat, and, and I thought it was gonna be crazy expensive because there were a lot of us in there. Okay, so we ended up ordering quite a lot. So I was a little bit anxious at like checking the last bill. Uh, but it it was not as expensive as I thought. The one before though, the one with the the one that I showed you before with the I don't know. There's like many spe like spices in the soup. It was so delicious. You make crisis? Uh, I had already met Willie in Canada. I was not able to see him this time because our schedules did not match. Uh, I think when he came to Tokyo, I was not there yet. And then the little days that we finally overlapped, I was too busy. I was at work. I'm telling you guys, I would be there. I would be there working from like 9 a.m. and I would get out. I'm not going to be honest. It would, and I would get out at like 10 p.m. I was working the entire day. You might call me. We had like one, two hours of break in between to go eat lunch. But we... It was like eat lunch with them, not like outside. A full whole day. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, 
So we were working, working, like Etheria was actually working, working, working. We had so much to do. So the only times that I could see people, it was dinners. And we wouldn't have dinner like together, all of us, every single night either. Because sometimes we we're too tired to go out. So we just go straight to the to the restaurant, to the rest of the hotel. Or sometimes Etheria was really, really tired. So we would just go, the three of us only, to like a restaurant nearby. Just because so, we were so tired. And then we would call it a night. And sometimes we were even, we just, we just go and buy something from the company. <laughs> I know that sounds depressing, but you just go back to the hotel like that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I met Vanta for the first time. It was really funny. It was really funny. Because, um... I think it was uh, a really big dinner. A really big company dinner. So, a lot of managers were there. A lot of us in EN were there. Except Willie. I think Willie was not there. Um... And I was at the entrance, I recognized my money, and I just went there really fast. And I think I ran past Vanta. I did not recognize him. Because I did not know how he looked like. So I just, I literally ran past them. Have you seen one of those, like, shows where there's one person, and he, like, puts his hand up to, like, say hello. And then the other person is saying hello, but they're saying hello to the person behind them. <laughs> It was literally like that, and I felt so bad. <laughs> I think I ran past him and I hugged my money, and I was like, Money's alright! He's such a booty! Wee! And the worst part is that I turn around. Wait, Willie was there, no? No, I don't. I genuinely. Willie was there! Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Willie. I think Willie was there, because he was the one talking with Vanta. So I saw Willie and I said hello, and then I saw this guy that was talking to Willie. And I'm shy. So I just, I literally turn around to look at my money and I pointed at him and I literally asked my money, who is this? Cause I was so scared. I was like, who is this? And then my son was like, that's a main time. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> they were like talking ahead. We were already walking towards the restaurant. And Vanta and Willie, Vanta and Willie were talking to each other in front, at the front, and Mane and I were walking at the back. So I just like pointed at him and Mane, to, and I just asked Mane, so I'm like, who the, who's this person? So I was like, why is this person with us? I thought it was only livers. <laughs> is this okay? <laughs> and then after that, I was like, oh, hello, Vanta, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Don't you recognize the voice? No, because he was talking really low and he was at the front, so I couldn't hear it. He was also wearing a mask. So I was like, oh, hello, Vanta, blah, blah, blah. And then we were so many that at the re I think we had Shabu Shabu. I, ha I, ha I was at that restaurant the last time, like around October, that I went to Japan uh, um, for work. This time, I think there were, there were a couple of people that hadn't been to the Shabu Shabu restaurant, so I think they... They got it again. Um, there were so many people that we had to sit in like two different tables. I think in my table there was Vanta, there was Millie, there was me, there was, I think it was Uki, there was Luca, I think, was it? I think Luca always comes late, so. <laughs> um, there were a couple of money sons too. And I think Vanta ended up like drunk. Cause He's really weak to alcohol. I don't know why. He keeps this image of like him being really like... How do I say it? Saketsuyoi. We know. Yeah, he keeps this weird image of like... I can actually drink so much. And then he got... He's a lightweight. He's... He's... What is it? I think he might be in between me and Anna. I think he's weaker than me, guys. And if, if he ends up listening to this, or if you guys end up telling him, he probably 100% will deny it. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not that weak. No, no, no. I'm super strong. I drink so much. I think he's weaker than me. I think he's weaker than me, but stronger than N. I think he's in the middle. I was so surprised because I get drunk really fast. Not as fast as N. I think she holds the record, but... He is such a little guy. 
<laughs> when it comes to alcohol. And the worst part, isn't he way taller than you? He is. That's why I was so surprised because I don't really meet a lot of people in this life that are as weak as me when it comes to alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and I found it out because Millie was you know right you guys already know Millie. Millie is like unbeatable when it comes to uh drinking. She is probably the strongest person ever. And probably the strongest person in this entire company. I'm talking about both Niji JP and Niji EN. She's a monster. So Millie ended up ordering she would order one drink after the other, one after the, one more and one more and two more and one more. And I think Vance had tried to keep up with her. And he died somewhere along the way. <laughs> I don't know why he tried doing that. I think maybe Millie like told him to. Maybe they they had like this little competition. But that was yeah, the worst mistake of his life. <laughs> he died somewhere along the way, and then Millie was like, Oh, you don't need more. Okay, let me drink one of let me drink the ones that you have. And then also she called the waitress, Can I have two more of this? <laughs> she just kept on drinking after Vinta was just like, he had his elbow on the table, his head on his hand, and he was looking down. He looked like he was sleeping, or he looked like he was like upset. And then that was my first time meeting him, but apparently they were together before. So apparently they all knew that he was like already gone and they would they would start teasing him and he'll be like no no I am not drunk I can drink more and everybody else is like no he's gone <laughs> And then Millie who was just like sitting in front of him would just like keep on drinking like it was water It was really fun to watch I kind of feel bad for him but it was really fun to watch <laughs> He was gone, gone Oh and I couldn't make it and uh, she, and so stupid. And <laughs> Anna and I were supposed to go to Japan on the same day and wait for each other at the airport. We we're gonna be landing at like similar hours. And then I I asked Anna a little bit before going to the airport, like, tell me what time you're gonna be there so I can wait for you. Maybe you can wait for me. And then Anna checked and she was like, Rainbow, I think I fucked up. And I was like, what do you mean you fucked up? And she was like. Because of the time zone, you're gonna travel today, you're gonna arrive tomorrow, but I'm gonna travel tomorrow, like from Canada, and then I'll get I'll, I'll get there the day after tomorrow at the same hour as you. And I'm like, you're so So she and 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 the dinner was like the day that I would land. So Anna missed it. I was like Why are you so dumb? <laughs> <laughs> So Anna missed the big dinner. <laughs> I I don't I don't know if she was able to make crisis or not. Probably not. No. Did she? I don't remember, guys. I spent too much time in Japan. I barely remember anything. Sounds like Anna. I know she's so dumb. Wait, did I show you the little squids that we had at the sushi place? I don't think I did. Did I? Careful, this image might be a little bit like shocking. Cause I've never seen it. I've never had this sort of food before, but they're literally baby. I don't know if they're squids or octopus. I don't, I don't know. Understand? I think it's squids based on like the head. They're the little baby squids, stabbed in a stick for you to like eat as a whole. Look at that. They're so yummy! That was at the sushi place. At the gate kept get gay. At the gate kept. That's a classic. Really? It was my first time ever eating it. It was so good. I felt so bad every time I would eat one, but they would they would taste so good. It's the gate kept uh, sushi restaurant. <laughs> Looks like normal reef squid. It's so yummy. And to the left is Umesh. <laughs> you know what's so funny? The second day that we went, almost like the one of the last days that we were in Japan, we went again to the sushi restaurant with Etheria. And then it was so funny because both of the ch chefs, I think there's only two, uh, they, they saw us walk in and they both of them were like, we bought a lot of Umeshu this time. It was so embarrassing. 
it was so embarrassing but they were like we have a measure and we bought extra measure this time and i was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it was so good <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it was just that good this one i'm 100 sure it was octopus i'm gonna be honest i did not like it it was it was the only dish that i didn't like from that sushi place because we picked a different course the first course in the first day um it was more sushi and this one was uh, like uh, a variety kind of thing I didn't like it because what is that thing? It's, it's squid. It's a squid. It's octopus. Why didn't you like it? I think it was a texture. It was really gummy. Hm. I don't like gummy food. I don't like food that you have to chew like 20 times and then check again if you can swallow it or not. The, the taste was great. It's just it's too chewy and I don't like chewy food. No, I like slimy. There's a difference between slimy and chewy, like rubbery. I don't mind slimy. I love slimy. But this one was really chewy. You gotta like... You know, chew on it all the time. Give me a second. I'm gonna blow my nose. Yeah, slimy, you just suck. <laughs> you just, it just goes in the... And it goes. But chewy and rubbery, you gotta just like nom 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 And that one I don't like <laughs> I don't like <laughs> So I just had one and I was like, mm, you can have the rest So Ethereum ate the rest for me Is this from the... Oh yeah, this is from the, the second day call Oh no, wait, this is another one This is like the last dinner the last dinner that we had, it was only like Wewa, Petra, Theria, Shu, Luca. <clears throat> I think that was it. It was this really nice place with meat sushi. I honestly, I was so full that I did not have the meat sushi. I, I gave Petra my meat sushi and I ate the, this thing that, that's to the left. Right. I have no idea what that was. I did not know what I was eating, but it was so good. I think it might be like a different kind of raw, semi-raw meat or something. This this thing in the bowl, I was eating it. And then I asked Petra for her... <laughs> no, it's not salmon. It was meat. It was like a meat. It was... Uh, yakiniku? But with the yakiniku curse, it came like different things. It, it came with like kimchi. It came with like one lobster and then a bunch of meat and then one small meat sushi and then this thing. I don't know what it was, but it was so yummy. Mmm. It was really, really good. Um. I also, it came with a lot of veggies. Puffer fish without, I did not have puffer fish. Um, I forgot. What's the... Um, Taco? Takuang. Petra is not a big fan of takuang. It's a uh, pickled radish. And there was a bowl that came with it. So I asked Petra to eat my meat sushi and I would eat her takuang. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of my pickled radish. Every time I go to Japan, I eat my pickled radish. So I ate my pickled radish and I ate her pickled radish. So yummy. <laughs> I feel I ate so many veggies this time. <laughs> I feel every time that we got to a hot pot, I would eat a little bit of meat and then I would focus on the lotus root and um, and the tofu. And then when we when we go to Yakiniku, I would eat a little bit of meat and then I would just eat everybody's pickled radish. It's really nice. <clears throat> it's about time we got some veggie love. It was just really yummy. Why can't I say? It's just really yummy. What else did I do? Do you have any questions? Maybe you have any questions I can like remember. I went to Disney. Oh yeah, the last day we also got stuff on donuts. Here, let me show you the donut. Oh, I need to crop this one because it shows the brand. I, I can say, but I cannot show it. Krispy Kreme. I'm gonna be honest, too sweet. And I was surprised because it's Japan, right? You know what else I discovered during this Japanese Japanese trip? Um. At first, I thought the Japanese sweet level was like really... Maybe like, oh, I don't know if it has been like increasing recently. 
but Japanese people love sweet food. And I thought their sweet level was like low, really nice. I mean, it's pretty low if you compare it to America, but a lot of things in Japan tend to go towards the sweet side more than savor it. And Krispy Kreme, even in Japan, is so fucking sweet I couldn't even finish one donut. I ate half of it and I, and I set it aside because I was like, uh, too sweet. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not as sweet as in the US, but they're so... Japanese people love their sweet. Did you try KFC in Japan? I did! It was really nice. Here, let me show you. We got like two different set of boxes of donuts for staff son in our, in our last day. This was way too sweet, guys. I couldn't even finish one donut. Ugh. It was too sweet. There were a couple of staff staff members that ate two donuts, and I was like, "How the fuck can they? Too sweet." I had the I had the chocolate one, the one over here with the sprinkles, and I I was only able to eat half of it. Too sweet. Uh -uh. And then the rest of staff would have like a uh, two. I think a couple of them had two donuts. Uh too sweet i couldn't i couldn't <laughs> can i can i talk about something that i found really funny from staff um so staff son is really used because not a lot of ian people can go to japan and go to the studio a lot right so should i talk about this now or maybe in the future i'm pondering I want to talk it after. I'm going to talk it after. I'm going to save it because it's really detailed. But I'm just going to say that staff -san also had a really nice time because Ian, aka Etheria, gave them a really different experience, like work experience. That was... Uh, they love working with JP. You know, they have fun. But Ian is a little bit more cuckoo. <laughs> Ian is, <laughs> Ian is a little bit more cuckoo, so I will bring this later in the future and I will give you the detailed story. <laughs> but there is one person in my team, in my staff team, I think it was Millie's team too. One person <laughs> that got that got the full Etheria experience, and I'll tell you more after. I'm gonna save it. I promise I'll tell it, but I'm gonna save it for now. <laughs> we talked a lot with Staff Sun when in the last day, um, and while we were eating donuts, and they were just like laughing and telling us like this is so, this is so much different. Like you you don't do this with like jp the jp work culture is different you just don't sit around in a circle after you end the, the work and then you just laugh at things with like donuts it's something that's like really low-key like they they just said like really like uh, foreign i guess like they fi they felt that they were working with foreign people <laughs> no 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 it's really fun to work with jp as well but with Ian, it's just like you sit, you give them donuts, and then you're like, all right, tell me more about you. <laughs> and they're like, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, in JP, they work and they live it at work, and they're like, Otsukarezama desu, it was really fun. Thank you so much for um, working with us. It was really, really fun. You're amazing people. Bye bye. And with Ian, it's like, we bought coffee and donuts. Everybody sit in a circle. Tell me a little bit more about your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, now spill the tea, we got done. <laughs> it was looking like that. It was really nice. They said that it was really, really nice to like experience this, um, this different work environment. <laughs> it's like, let's make conversations. <laughs> it's just, it was really nice. It was yapping time with donuts. <laughs> so it was really, really nice. I loved the staff that I worked with the entire time, and I will talk more about it later. I promise this might be one of the best stories that I'll tell later in the future, but... Thank you, Staff-san. You're amazing, and I love you. 
Thank you <laughs> for working with me. <laughs> She's most of the time later, Mia. I promise. <laughs> You'll forget, Momo. No, there's no way. There is no way that I will forget about my staff and more specifically one person. I <laughs> I will I will I will make you guys wait. <laughs> what else? I feel bad because everybody else is telling so many different things and I'm like, yeah, I was at the studio from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, except Sundays. <laughs> Don't blue ball us. No, trust me, you're going to enjoy it even more in the future. I promise. I promise you'll enjoy it even more than if I say it right now. Your man design is an official design tool. Yeah, because we spend so much. I mean, we were working all day, so we spent a lot of a lot of our time with Manesan. I actually, can I tell you something really funny? So, Manisan has these gorgeous blue nails. <laughs> Yuki, thank you so much for the Akasuba. Thank you. <mwah> Manisan has these gorgeous blue nails. And I wanted to get my nails done, but I couldn't design. I couldn't decide on a design. So, I asked Manisan to let me take a picture of her nails. And then when I when I went to get my nails done with Wewa and Enna, I told the the nail artist to give me her nails, but in pink. So Loki, <laughs> so Loki, me and Manesan are <laughs> matching nails, matching. I obviously asked for her permission before, <laughs> but she has blue nails and I have pink nails, and it's the same design. <laughs> but her design looks better because she has really long nails. Uh, my nails are really tiny, and I did not know how extensions worked. <laughs> I didn't know how magical Japanese like, nail salons can actually be. So I didn't ask for nail extensions, but the next time I will. So I asked them to like... Because I broke one of my nails, so instead of being smart and telling them to give me a nail extension for that one, I told them to cut the rest of my nails and like put them at the same level the same length which was really short i know i got a gel extension I got, I got a gel extension in the one that i broke because they said that it was too short so they gave me like a the tiniest gel extension to like fix the length uh but i told them to like keep them short like at the same level and then we got gel extensions and I was watching the whole process and I was like, wait a second, you can do that? I felt so dumb because my nails were already done. And she was getting this huge, like not huge, but like this really like sassy extensions that I like the, the, the length that I love. And she was getting the, the prettiest design ever. And I was like, you can do that. <laughs> so, and it looked so natural. It looks so damn natural. So next time that I go to Japan, and if I break one of my nails or if my nails are still too short, I will tell them to do my sassy gel extensions. Cause you don't you don't feel it like not me doing my my gel extended nail. You don't feel the gel extension. It looks so natural too. I'm gonna do my yeah. I'm gonna do my sassy gel extensions next time. But I got a pink. It's very secure. Yeah. And I'm so sad because the rest of my nails were pretty long because I love long nails. The rest of my nails were pretty, pretty long. It was just one, my index, my right index finger that I broke and it was really short. And I was like, well, because it's short, you have to like make the rest of them short, right? No, no, you don't. But I didn't know that. I'm so sad. My nails are really pretty right now, but I'm so sad. <laughs> so Manisan has better nails than me because they're pretty long. Um, and they're blue and I think that design looks better with long nails because you can work with more surface area But we have matching nails. Yeah <laughs> I love long nails too, but with my celebrine I scratched myself with them. Honestly, me too <laughs> Short is practical. No, no, no. Did someone pull your nails? No, it's just I have really weak nails because I need more vitamin and I, I think I was just opening one of my drawers and I think I grabbed it in like a wrong angle. So when I grabbed the drawing and I pulled it out, I pulled it with my nail. I know that sounds painful. It was. And then it, it broke like really, really like close to like where it bleeds. 
that's rough yeah it hurt it hurt a lot so i pulled the thing out with my nails like, and then i broke it and it got really really short <sighs> it hurt a lot <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could cause more self-harm with long nails. You gotta be careful, yeah. You, you you end up typing differently. You end up typing in the keyboard and your phone differently when you have long nails. I say that you will end up getting used to it, but then... But you definitely do things differently with long nails. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it though. I don't know why I love the sound of nails when you're like typing on the phone. It's like, I don't... I cannot do them right now. I have to like poke my phone. But when you have long nails and you're typing, it sounds like... Can you hear it? Like... I don't know why I love this sound. <laughs> I love the sound that the nails do when you're like typing on the phone. <laughs> I hate that. I love it. <laughs> you're gonna destroy your screen with those nails? Nah, you're not stabbing it. Help me remember more stuff. I made Hayu, I met Wewa. I, I mean, not we walk you wow. You know, it was really fun. Um, it was. It was. Kiara, and it was Etheria, and it was Wewa, and another friend. And we ended up going to like this like nice meet. It was like Yakiniku thing. And that that's the day that we got. Knacked by the chef <laughs> Cuz like they gave us They gave us this raw meat that was really fancy because they got in and they showed us this big Ball of raw meat and they were like this is the meat that we're gonna serve you And then they went away and I was like why did they leave and they were like oh I think they're just like pushing it so they come in They show you the meat that they're gonna give you and then they go out and like prepare it for you and I was like what the and um he, he came back and then he gave us the portion of the raw meat and a couple of us are not that good at raw meat I'm not a fan. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a fan of raw meat. Um I can eat it. I'm just not a fan and since we were in the yakiniku In a yakiniku place. We're just like, I mean We can't just you know cook it, right? even though Even though the chef was like you eat it as it is like uh, so no mama de taberu ってこと? Just eat it as it is, no sauce, no anything. They tell you how to eat it. And I love that. Because I guess they show you <laughs> the Japanese way of eating it. But a lot of us were not that good with raw meat. So we ended up like putting it on the yakiniku <laughs> frying thing. <laughs> and then the chef came back with like more stuff. And he was like... <laughs> His face. I feel like I disrespected his ancestors. He was doing that kind of like expression. And he was like, no, 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 you're not supposed to cook it. And then he turned off our, our yakiniku thing. He was like... He just turned it off. And we were like, oh, okay. So we just ate it as we could. And then after that, he just like sent a waitress. He just sent a waitress to like give us the food and not him anymore. And the waitress was a little bit more kind in telling us how to eat stuff. I mean... Yeah, apparently it's a high grade special meat or something like that. Maybe I'm just too dumb. I appreciate the effort, but also maybe... Maybe I don't have... Sassy, high quality, luxury... Tongue, like a luxury tongue to know that I'm eating a really I don't know special great meat I just wanted to cook it <laughs> I just wanted to, yeah I don't have bougie taste okay <laughs> I have yeah I have middle class tongue I'm sorry <laughs> I have middle class tongue so I just wanted to cook it a little bit so I could eat it I'm so sorry <laughs> I didn't mean any disrespect, and I appreciate the way that they eat it. But it's just that muji des, niigata desu yo, suimasen. Namaniku chotto niigata desu no de, suimasen. It was the only time that I cooked it. I ate, I ate the rest of the things the Japanese way of eating it. Suimasen. <laughs> <laughs> 
I promise, I meant no disrespect. After that, I actually ate everything the way that it was supposed to be eaten, except that I did not eat it with the recommended sauces, like they said. I just ate everything with ponzu. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ponzo is good. I mean, Ponzo is still a Japanese sauce, so... The true Japanese way. <laughs> it was not Wagyu. I don't know. I don't know what kind of meat it was. I'm telling you, I'm not fancy coated. <clears throat> it was really nice. Kara was really kind and really funny and really sweet. We talked a lot. She was really cute. She was just really cute. She's such a really nice girl. It was my first time meeting her in person. So we talked a lot. It was a really nice dinner. I hope when we come back to Japan and if our schedules kind of like overlap on free days, we would love to hang out again. It was really nice. Oh, the chef didn't blacklist you? Nah, it's fine. They're chill. I low-key don't want to come back though because <laughs> I want to cook my food. <laughs> I want to cook my meat. <laughs> I went to the yakiniku expecting to cook all the meat, you know? Yakiniku? I wasn't expecting like a raw meat course. So, Loki. <laughs> Loki, I might not go back. <laughs> I might just go to the normal middle class yakiniku places. <laughs> Where I can just cook whatever meat they have and just put it around, you know, just wrap it with lettuce and eat it goes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was really nice. Who else did I meet? I met a lot of JP senpais. I met with Albio senpai again. I met with um, Ikoto senpai again. I met Patane with, for the first time. I was not in the off collab, but I met her later. I met Shima senpai again for the first time. She is the sweetest girl ever. I love... She's so... Oh, I think I fell in love. <laughs> she will hold my hands all the time, like... She's the softest ever. Chima Senpai is... I love her so much. I cannot believe I met one of my Oshis. I think after meeting with my Oshi, like in person, I think I just fell in love more. <laughs> she just like held both of my hands with both of her two hands in there. And she was like, let's collab more. Okay, Naimachan, let's collab more. This was really nice. And I'm like, oh, I'm so gay. I loved her so much. I, I wanted to... <sighs> My Oshi is the best person ever. She's so cute. Ah. I fell in love with Chima Senpai even more. She's still there in my in my Oshi stand. Um, what else? I met with Sukoya Senpai. It was my first time ever meeting her, but we've been talking a lot about identity identity five. Identity V. She likes it a lot and I used to play it a lot. Sukoya Senpai. She's really sexy. <laughs> um, she she actually gave me this um. I don't know how to call them. It's like this cylinder of cookie with filled with like matcha cream that she brought as an omiyage, and I gave everybody Colombian coffee. I was I was the Colombian coffee store in that trip. I gave it to my managers. I gave it to every single person that I hadn't met before. I gave it to staff. I was just sharing a bag of colombian coffee to a bunch of people you want you want take a little bit of you want it a little bit stronger you want a little bit of like orange touch at the end what do you want i have juan valdez i have this one other brand and have this one other low-key fancy brand that my mom likes but i have never drunk but apparently it's really good which one you want i have it <laughs> and i was just sharing a bunch of colombian coffee to a bunch of people <laughs> Good thing you're not afraid of being held for smuggling coffee. Yeah, I know. <laughs> did they like it? They did. They did. But then I loves coffee. And she drank it and she texted me the next day. She was like, this coffee is so good. <laughs> next time that you come, can you please bring more? And I was like, I got you. <laughs> she picked one of the strongest kind that I brought. A lot of my Japanese senpais and a lot of staff were a little bit scared of like the strong one. So a lot of them picked the medium one, and a couple of them picked the soft kind. Patane was like, I want the strong one, give me the strong one. Patane loves coffee, she was... It makes me really happy. And I gave Stasa like two different... I gave him a couple like little coffee 
packs for them to like divide but i also gave them these two big bags of the chocolate with the coffee the chocolate bowls with the coffee beans inside and this chocolate like it's not gummy but like just chocolate candy and i gave i gave the i gave them the the, the chocolate one in the morning and by the time the same day by the time that we were ending at night though it was empty and i was so happy it was empty empty and they're like this was so good and i was so happy my heart my heart was so happy i was like i didn't know that you were gonna like it so much and they were like i would never eat like like how do you say it? like it's not candy a snack that is so so yummy so thank you so much for bringing it i was so so happy sounds like they liked it yeah they liked it so much that i ended up bringing the other bag <laughs> i was i was thinking about sharing it with etheria and the rest of the girls but i gave them their things already and after seeing how staff liked it so much at the end of the day i, I brought another bag and i remember <laughs> the the one guy that i'm gonna talk about in the future he just like raised his hands and he was like yay <laughs> he was so cute the one person in my staff group he saw me bringing the the coffee bag and he just raised both of his hands like yay <laughs> the, uh, the one guy at the back back <laughs> so cute i was like i brought more <laughs> it's really fun it's really really fun that one guy <laughs> and prank money no the and prank money I, I give him another bag i gave my money son the biggest bag of coffee and prank money i gave another coffee i gave i gave coffee to like four different monies <laughs> i'm telling you you have no idea how much coffee i had in the bag <laughs> i think after after delivering everybody their coffee my bag actually came down to like the usual weight i had to pay a fee because it was too heavy when i went to japan and then when i left the bag was already like in the normal average weight <laughs> that's how much coffee i was i was holding in my bag <laughs> how much coffee do you bring i i brought a lot of coffee <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get stopped at the airport. I kept it all in the legal amount of coffee. But I also divided the coffee in both my checked in bag and my and <laughs> and my carry on bag. <laughs> so I could bring more <laughs> but still respect the the law. <laughs> <laughs> is there an illegal amount it's not illegal per se but you have to um you have to go through customs and you have to uh say how much you bring <laughs> yeah 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 but it's too annoying so you can do that if you don't want to go through customs <laughs> i'm the coffee ambassador of niji sanji <laughs> at this point not even ian it's just niji sanji so <laughs> yeah i have to declare it and pay taxes yes if you bring like a really big amount of like a lot of things not only coffee <clears throat> uh what else you have any other questions guys what else did i meet what else did i meet oh my god i think i met so many people i i met Shacho, we went to karaoke with Shacho and with Oliver. I mean, I already met Oliver and I already met Shacho before, but we went to karaoke and Shacho, I'm not, he is crazy. He's crazy good at singing. It was, I felt like it was unfair to listen to this one specific song for free. He ate that song. So we went to karaoke with Shacho. He is one of the sweetest person ever. He's He's been checking on Ian a lot lately. And he's been like sending videos of like support and stuff. It was really nice. Shacho. You understand why we call Shacho Shacho? It really feels like he is truly the Shacho of the company. He's a really sweet and kind hearted person. And I'm really happy that I got to have him as my senpai. 
really nice. Wales. Which song did he sing? I have no idea. I'm not too into the, the genre that he likes, but he ate it. I just know that he has a lot of like, wow, <laughs> that I, I cannot sing, but it was so good. <laughs> It was so good. I was just sitting there like, holy shit. I've never heard someone like sing live so good. <laughs> yeah, it was metal. <laughs> um, I saw all the support from the JP Senpais. Yeah, a lot of them have been checking up on Ian a lot. I don't know. I just... I just had a really nice time. I met so many of my senpais that I hadn't met before. I'm still in love with Chima Senpai. I'm so... You guys don't understand what it is to meet your Oshi in person. You don't understand when one of my Oshis... I have a couple more. You guys don't understand what it means to meet your Oshi in person and then fall in love even more. Like, because sometimes there's like a thing like don't meet your heroes. It didn't apply this time. I was like... Chima Senpai, I love you. Now she's just bragging. I am. I am bragging. I cannot believe I got the chance to meet Chima Senpai and like fall in love even more. <laughs> Give it to me. Come on, I deserve it. I've been loving her before joining Niji. So being able to work with her with her and actually meeting her in person, I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> She's I love her. <laughs> Who else did I meet? I met other people. Well, yeah, I met other people. I hanged out with them at Disney. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I did not go with Astelletta. <laughs> A couple of you were asking me. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> A couple of you were asking me on Solvits. I think it was because of the comment that we did last stream. They were like, I'm so glad that you went with Astel. How was your Disney date with Astel? And I was like, why the fuck do people think that I went with Letta? <laughs> I, I went with girls, with cuter girls. <laughs> I was like, what? Who? <laughs> I was like, I think there is a misunderstanding. Yeah, it's the ear no energy. <laughs> I did not go to these. I feel I need to clarify this because a lot of people went a little bit the Lulu. I don't know. <laughs> I did not go to Disneyland with Astoletta. <laughs> and I wanted that to get clarified. <laughs> I, um... I enjoy Disneyland quite fine and perfectly without Astaletta guiding me. It was my first time going to Tokyo Disneyland. I want to talk about it later because the group that I went to, they said they wanted to talk about it a little bit later. They wanted to wait, but I went with a lot of friends. And it was my first time meeting them too. And it was really, really, really nice. I had such an amazing moment. <laughs> I did tell Asta later. <laughs> I was like, guess where I'm at? <laughs> and I just sent him a picture of like uh, the light show. And he was like, what the? F what are you? <laughs> His reaction was just, wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I enjoyed Disney though. It's really, really fun. They forced me to go. I hate roller coasters, bro. I hate roller coasters. That's foul. <laughs> I hate roller coasters so much, and they made me ride them. I uh, they were like, "You can do it, Raymo. You can." I hate it so much. They made me ride Spl what is it? What's the called? Splash Mountain. <laughs> Yo, you guys have no idea. You you guys know how at the end of Splash Mountain was Splash Mountain? Yeah, they take like a picture. When you're like the last, like, uh, the last fall, bro, <laughs> I was hugging that card. I was hugging that card. I saw the picture, I saw the photo, and I laughed my eyes off because the girls that I were that I was with, they came out with like smiles in the picture. They were like raising their hands. They're like, yeah. And I was the only one in the group. I was like hugging the card for dear life. I was like, ah. <laughs> 
everybody else is having the, the time of their life in the picture and I'm just like down like, ah! <laughs> like I look so ugly <laughs> I hate roller coasters so much. I was like, this is gonna be my first and last time I ride this shit. I hate it. Ah, <laughs> uh, these ain't so pretty. I, I wasn't able to ride everything. I I don't know why. Is it is it different in Orlando? In Orlando, you go to the Cinderella, Cinderella Castle at like midnight and they do this like show, right? Like with fireworks and with a lot of lights on the castle and stuff like that. They didn't do it in Tokyo Disneyland. They were gonna close the park at like 11 p.m. So I was a little bit confused. I was like, what happened to the midnight show? They just like gave like the, the usual announcement that they were gonna like close the park soon. So we just left at 11 p.m. where everybody... There was a parade, a, like a light parade, and it was really, really pretty. But I was expecting to like sit around with like this huge like crowd of people around the castle so we could look at that. But apparently th there was no midnight show. I was a little bit shocked because I was looking like looking forward to that one the most. So I don't know. They don't do that Disneyland either. They have fireworks show, but it's earlier than that. Oh, maybe it's only in Orlando. Best Disney is out of Orlando, I guess. I don't know. Because I remember. I, I remember when I went to Orlando. When I was at school with my parents. I remember the fireworks. And I also remember the light show at the castle. Like at the castle walls. You would see like a lot of like cool light show. But it was really nice. Despite of that, the, the, um, the night light parade was really nice. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just remembering that I, I showed a, I showed one of the pictures of the light parade to Astel, and he was like, "Oh, you, he like I think I don't know how many times that man has gone to Disney. I think he has an obsession. I don't know if he's healthy or not, but he instantly recognized the parade, the card, and what kind of show it was. And then he was like, "You're at Disney. You're at Disney. What are you at Disney? Why are you at Disney? Why are you watching the light parade?" <laughs> Damn. It was really funny. <laughs> and then... I didn't tell him the day that I was living. But... We did cook... Something... When I was in Japan. Um... And then when he gave me... The things... I sent him a photo of like... I was already at the... At the plane. I had already like I was really close to coming back to America and he was like You didn't tell me you were living today and I was like what do you mean? And he was like we couldn't go to Disneyland C and I was like oh we have plans for Disneyland C <laughs> he was just Wee <laughs> Cause he was like you went with your friends to Disney but you haven't gone to Disneyland C right and I was like well I'm not in Japan anymore he was like Wee <laughs> It was so funny. <laughs> so no, I I couldn't meet Astaleta San 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 because um I was busy, and the <laughs> and the free days that I had, I spent my Disneyland dates with the really cute girls, and then I just didn't have time. I'm sorry, Asta. <laughs> Girls are just too cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe next time that I go to Japan, maybe we can hang out. <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> I'm sorry for anybody that was going a little bit dolulu about the Disneyland day. <laughs> That's the least sorry voice I ever heard. What do you want me to do? I have my priority. <laughs> Also, he I don't, he already said it on stream, but he bought a cat. Yes, a little cat, a kitty cat. So he became a hermit. He had his chances to go out and and eat with us, but he was like, I honestly, hundred percent understandable, because that was me when Mimi was a baby. He was like, I cannot leave because my baby is here. And then he sent he actually sent me quite a lot of pictures of his baby. He's so cute. 
His name that I won't say by the way because he hasn't he said that he wasn't gonna say it on stream because of safety reasons. He's so his baby is one of the cutest cats I've ever seen in my life. She is so... How do I say it? She is so... Like... How do I say it? She is always like on him. She is like a... She's a pick me... Pick me... <laughs> pick me cat. I don't know how to describe it. She always wants to be snuggled. She's a really physical cat. Yeah, it's, it's a kitten. It's, it's really, really clingy. She always, uh, she always slips in Asil's arms. She's really affectionate. Every time that I would see her, she would be like either in Asil's lap or in Asil's arms. And she usually has to fall asleep in Asil's arms. She is such a cute baby. She's adorable. <laughs> the Pikmin cat. <laughs> yeah, she's such a lap. <laughs> she's such a lap cat. She's so cute. I'm in love with that cat. Her face is actually so cute too. I'm so happy that he got that cat. You has you guys have no idea how much a pet like genuinely help helps you like mentally and emotionally. I know that it sounds really corny and it sounds like really exaggerated, but literally <laughs> Mimi is Loki like my daily little light. She makes me laugh and ever since I got her, my mental health got so much better i actually got mimi because uh, you know after i mourned maya and stuff i was still feeling pretty sad but i was feeling so lonely and i was feeling so sad and my mental health was like loki going down it has been so great ever since i got her so i'm glad that he finally because he, he always wanted to get a kitten he's always been wanting to get a cat ever since i remember ever meeting him so i'm really really happy that he finally got one because he's been struggling a lot he took a- I don't know if you guys know, but he took a hiatus. He was like really tired. He was really struggling with his own stuff. So it's really nice that he has a, a kitten that, you know, gives him serotonin, like daily. I'm glad. <laughs> I blow my nose. <sighs> what else did I do? Do you have any questions about Japan chat? Maybe if you ask me something, I can remember. I'm trying to remember if I met anybody else, but that's about it. That I can say on stream. Karaoke? I didn't go to karaoke that much. I was just too busy. I feel like my stories are so boring. I did not- we couldn't make time for the onsen. And we did not go to karaoke that much. I think they went- I think the one day that I made crisis, I think I met crisis like only one time. One day, I think. I don't remember. Um They we went to the Shabu Shabu and then they went to like the second party, which was karaoke, but I was so tired and I had work the next day, so I was just like, I can't. I'm gonna go to my hotel and rest like a grandma. I couldn't go to the onsen. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Do you buy any anime merch? I did I? No. I was too busy. We. I did receive a couple of merch from a couple of friends that I met in prison. So I have their merch and I'm really, really happy. I can do like my shrine. But no, I this time I did not. I didn't even go to like... What is it? Ikebukuro? I went to Ikebukuro once. Because Weiwa was there. But I did not get any anime merch in Ikebukuro. I get overwhelmed when there's a lot of people. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there was an event in Japan that was honored the passing of the author behind Dragon Ball. I'm not sure, but the news were everywhere. And when we were passing in Ikebukuro, a lot of people were talking about it. And I would see a lot of like posters of, um, of the Dragon Ball author. So it was definitely everywhere. And I would also like hear people talking about it. Like in in the train and stuff like that. Isn't it Niji Ari Nikibukuro? I did! Shu took a picture of it. We did. It's like it feels <laughs> It feels so excited but so scary because there's like a like a giant crowd of people. And there's like this giant ad in Nikibukuro, but also Shibuya. 
like a giant screen of Niji Sanji's new wave, the JP one. And you're like there in the crowd. And, and you're like, they don't know. But it's also so scary. Like I, we, we took a picture and then we went away as fast as we could. Cause we're a little bit like, we, we overthink a little bit too much. You feel, it's scary, but also at the same time exciting. They don't know, I'm a VTuber. Like right next to them, they didn't know that they had Luxium right next to them sort of thing. It's really, it's really scary. <laughs> they will ever hear your voice. Oh yeah, we wear masks and we don't talk at all, at all when we go to uh, Ikebukuro or Shibuya. <laughs> Where do you buy your Mythic Cups? Um... I need to ask the name of... I need to... I went with Petra and with Theria. It was a mall. It was a really strangely shaped mall. I don't remember the name, but it was either probably Shibuya or Ikebukuro. I'm gonna ask them to see. So to like, rem remind me the name of the... It's, it's near Shibuya, yeah. If you wanna buy the cups, they're really, really cute. Yay! Sunshine... What is Sunshine City? Let me see. No, I think Millie was the one that went to Sunshine City. She went on a shopping spree. <laughs> Sunshine City. I don't think it was Sunshine City. I've been there. It's a different one. I'm gonna ask later. And the brand is Ace Terrace. Wait, give me a second. What is that? Was it this? No, I have no idea. <clears throat> It'd be funny if they went on an AG event because played as each other. No, it wouldn't be fun. That would be like, hello, feel free to dox me. We would never do that. <laughs> yeah, Sunshine City is in Ikebukuro, but I think Millie just went there for clothes. I think it was not that one. There was a jump, I mean, <laughs> jump stores are everywhere, but there was also a jump store. There are a lot of like clothes there. It was a weirdly shaped one. I'm gonna ask later. Have you ever tried going to katana shops in Japan? No, I haven't actually. Crackle building. Was it this one? It had like a lot of Christmas decorations for some reason. Was it Parko? I think it might have been. I only remember that the that the that the whole mall was like a really weird shape. It might have been. It might have been, honestly. Maybe it was that one. <clears throat> the biggest anime is in Ikebukuro. Yeah, I went there last time. I didn't go there before. I didn't go there this time. I wish I could have, so I could like check if there was any more Gojo merch. <laughs> there was one event. Oh my god! There was this one event at the same mall uh, of like a lot of like um, Jujutsu Kaisen merch, like a lot of it, and people were lining up on. People were lining up for it. Um, and uh, what is it? And then I started lining with with the rest of the people, and then Elira had to like poke me. She read like a sign. Apparently, not everybody can go in that Jujutsu Kaisen like merch event. They give like tickets for like certain days at certain times to like all of Japan. And you get the tickets by like lottery. And I was like, what kind of bullshit? I was, oh, I was so desperate. That was up. I, I was, yeah, it's a raffle. I was like, no, please. I was about to like ask the lady that was already in with like a little basket and uh, her merch. I was about to be like, please, I, this, I'm a guy Kokujin. I, I'm going to leave tomorrow. This is the only time that I'm going to be in Japan. Please, I'll give you money. Can you please buy the merch for me? Please. I couldn't. I was too embarrassed. And also Loki, that might have been illegal. I don't know. We. That's why so many people were like showing their phones as they were like going in. Ah, 
it, 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 uh, you know how hard it is to find Gojo's Atro merch in Tokyo? They had so much. Every, they had so much Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, I wanted to use my Gaijin. Gai Kokujin. Let's not, let's, let's not call it Gaijin. That, that one's Loki bad. Gai Kokujin card. But... That's another reason why I also want to live in Japan. Let me get in the lottery for the Jujutsu Kaisen event. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> What's wrong? It's a little bit despective. I think people use it. Usually not in like a positive way. Guy Kokujin is better. Um What else? Lo lottery Loki really annoying. I know! Just I mean, you know what they could do? They could do a percentage of the tickets lottery based, so like be fair, but also can people just normally buy it? I know they're gonna be sold out really fast, and I know that might be like a little bit unfair, but that's what the other lottery can be. Can you know? That's why they, they can like put the lottery for the rest of the tickets. But like, can I just buy one, please? I just came to Japan. I don't have like the whole year to enter your lottery. Hmm. <sighs> I know they give everything by lottery in Japan. I didn't even know that. For example, oh my god, give me a second. My muscle, my muscle. Uh, I didn't know that for uh, the Olympics. You know how usually you can just, if you're like, you know, have a lot of money and a lot of time in your hands, you can just buy a ticket to like go and watch like the Olympics. They gave it as like gacha, bro. They gave the Olympic tickets. Like, during- for the entirety of, like, Japan in, like, gachas. Oh, man. Wait, really? Yeah! I think you can sign... Uh, one ticket. It was something like that. I think my friend that lives there was telling me that. It, it was, like, one ticket per person. So, like, sometimes families would, like... Instead of, like, the husband, the husband and the wife would, like, go in the gacha to, like, have more... Percentage of, like, getting a ticket. For like the Olympics, it was a gotcha system. God damn it! <clears throat> it worked like that. <laughs> 2020 changed everything. What else? Um, I wish I could talk more about. I feel like ninety percent of the things that I did, I cannot talk about it right now. I just wanted to say that it worked really hard Etheria worked really 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 hard and even though I spent an amazing day amazing days in Japan and I met so many people this time I am really happy that I'm home <laughs> when I was finishing my stuff um the first thing that I said was Loki like I cannot wait to go back home <laughs> congrats on the air live yeah You guys waited for so long. If you guys don't know, Air Life will happen. Was it April something? This time they decided to put both pastel and vivid stages in one. So it's gonna be one show called Colors. April 14. Uh, I think we we poked mat we poked management because we saw a lot of people getting confused about what to do with the tickets if you were not in Japan. I think a couple of them figured it out, but I, I don't think it was, like, that obvious. So if you want a ticket, I think a lot of people are talking about it on Twitter, but if you want a ticket, you know, you just know that Nico Nico, the ones from Nico Nico is for Japan. You can watch it if you have, um, VPN. But I think you need to buy it through, like, another... It's not the Nico Nico one, but the other one, where you can, like, actually select the, the country. Yeah, you guys, Loki figured it out, but we told, like, staff... Like, you should clarify this a little bit better just in case because we, even though we saw a couple of people figuring it out, we other, we, we, we also saw a lot of people, um, confused and asking. Yeah, stage crowd. We saw a couple of other people being, you know, confused and asking other people, like, how do I buy the plate help? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The JP directs to Nico Nico. Yes, yes, yes. You just need to use the Ian, the Ian site. <clears throat> Hi, Robug. Thank you so much for the pink super. Thank you. 
Lots of the hard work, Momo. Glad you enjoy your time with everybody. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like everybody was suspecting like this really funny stories. <laughs> and even though I might have them, most of my things is work related, sadly. Air life is 3D. Yeah. It's 3D. Plus, um. The band, the people that are doing the music, uh, it's live. So certain sections, a lot of our sections are pre-recorded because it's really difficult to, <laughs> it's really difficult to have Etheria, Lasolite, Obsidia, Luxium, and Noctix in person at the same time in Japan. So the easiest way to do, like, it's not as easy as JP. So for these kinds of events, is it's just easier to pre-record certain things. But if you're talking about the music and the band, that one is gonna be live. And like due to uh, like other circumstances, cir circumstances, a lot of like the footage that we prepared a while ago also had to be cut and edited. I think Petra explained it. Um, part of I think Petra's Petra was in the edited portions quite a lot i was in one of them um i was in one of them but yeah petra and rose and me i was also in one of the the sections that had to be like entirely caught sadly but because because of that i feel i hope that you guys enjoy it even more because everybody has been working really, really hard for like a long time. It's been a it's been a teamwork from both staff and management and the music and the musicians coming, and then the choreo team and the dancers and every liver going and doing their work. So it's been. Uh, it was it was a huge project. So I hope you guys. Love it, and I hope you guys enjoy it because we've been waiting on it for such a long time. Yeah, where do owls stand? Oh my god, Audie is here. Thank you so much for the sofa. Where do owls stay on vacation? The hotel. No, I'm gonna need it a four. It's so bad. <laughs> Why would you say that when I come back? <laughs> It's been a year. I don't remember. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been a year. A lot of things have been happening this is a recent year. So every time that we wanted to like announce that something would happen, and then we had we had to change stuff. And then when it was like already, I we were about to like do it like three times. <laughs> and then when it was about to get announced again because it was 100 percent complete, something would happen, and they were like, "All right, we need to fix it again." So now that everybody finally is able to enjoy their hard work and we can finally show it, we're just really... We're tired, but also it's like, finally the fruit of our labor! It's gonna... it's gonna be out. Finally, finally, for real, for real. Fuck you all. It's gonna be out. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's, it has tears, sweat, and blood. For real, for real, no clickbait. Please enjoy. <laughs> There's also merch in case you guys are curious. I'm gonna post it soon. There's merch. There's the code Gia's merch that I have to post in a, in a bit. The Air Life merch. It has this really... Bro, I'm so... Yeah, I'm so in love with um, with the, with the with the artwork that we got for Air Life. KT, Mama was the one that drew Etheria. <laughs> I love how we three look like. KT Mama was a was a designated illustrator for Etheria for the Air Live. So we love it. Your Noi looks like it has legs. I know. I just saw cursed art of it. <laughs> I know. It's really really cute. So in case you guys, I think they they came out with like badges, the usual badges, and scene acrylics, but also they have the new the Noi heads. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I have legs attached to my head. But that's my hair. <laughs> I'm happy that I'm gonna get that just because I'm really, really in love with Katie Mama's art for this one. 
the K the Nui heads are so funny. You know, I hope you get them too, just so you can have something cursed in your room. Just imagine like severe head of your Oshi welcoming you back home from your bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be your memory of you attending air live. It's the best. <laughs> mm. A dream come true. No. Mm. Yuki, thank you so much for the Aka Super. Thank you. Mwah. Acceptable casualty. Thank you so much for the Super. Aim, A B or App. Thank you so much for the Super. I missed you too. Hi, pretty lady. Long time no see. Long time no see. I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow, too. Give me a second. So, until this Saturday, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of gorillas whenever I can. But I'm probably gonna have a schedule. We're gonna go back to our usual schedules for next week. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing Chilla's. I wanna play Chilla's new art. Chilla's new art game. What? Chilla's art new game. It's gonna be really late at night, though, because I'm. Am I gonna do something? Oh, I'm I'm gonna double stream? Okay, I guess I'm double streaming. Sorry, I forgot my schedule. I'm double streaming tomorrow! <laughs> it's gonna be at like, uh, I think it, that daylight time saving, right? It's gonna be at 12 p.m. So like, mm, lunch time. I'm gonna be finishing Puppy. Um, and... Later at night, at like midnight, I think, I'm gonna be playing Chilla's new art. Chilla's art, new game. There we go. Yeah, you say you go crazy? Yeah, we're double streaming, baby. <laughs> I also sent a bunch of like, uh, I asked my money again for like perms for Final Fantasy so we can continue our Final Fantasy 7, but also I asked for perms for Final Fantasy 16 for the DLC. But also, I asked for perms for the remake of this Final Fantasy VII. So, if they don't give me perms for the new one, I'm I'm just gonna continue with the OG. But Loki, if they give me perms for the remake one, I'm gonna do the remake one. I'm gonna finish it and then we go back to the OG. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I think they already announced another DLC. Are you kidding me? Another 16 DLC? Yes, I can. No way, I haven't even played the, the first one. Final Fantasy 16 DLC. It needs the OG first, but it's so long. We have Echoes of the Fallen, which is the one that I wanted to play. Which one is the newest one? The Rising Tide? Hello? <laughs> You sure hope you're not too jet lagged. Um, I'm okay at nights and at mornings. I start feeling... I'm probably gonna start feeling really sleepy in like three hours. It's the afternoons for me. Because afternoons is like really, really late at, in Japan. So I'm, I'm probably gonna pass out again today. It's okay. As you got past the... You got past a part of seven when the remake ends. Yeah, apparently. I'm not sure if I if I already finished the part that the newest DLC, you know, what? I, I don't know if I got to the to the ending of the remake one where I'm at the OG. But even if I'm not, I still want to play the remake. <laughs> Cause I feel most of it I already played in the OG, no? I feel. I don't know. You guys know more than me. Toki, thank you so much for the yellow super thank you! Katie, thank you so much for the sofa. Do you remember where you are? Um, I'm in the golden. Am I? Did we go there to like ask the really millionaire guy? I don't know if I stopped there. <laughs> it, it's been more than two months. Nope, you live Gongaga. Shit. <laughs> you barely have done one third of the whole story. I know Final Fantasy 7 is so long. You're in Gongaga to find Aerith. Me? Gongaga. <laughs> I'm in Gongaga apparently. <laughs> First thing I hear when I heard when I opened stream was your adorable laugh. So good to see you again, Momo. I have 
had a super fun and productive trip. Thank you for always working so hard for the fandoms. Thank you for coming back and, and, and listening to my silly work stories. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't have like much to fit you with, you know? <clears throat> um, what? You're going to fight Sephiroth? Didn't I already Loki fought with him? <laughs> Let me see, where was I? Hey, Smash, thank you so much for the silver. I'm really glad to see you too. Do you meet Godzilla? I did not. I was trapped in my hotel room. In a couple of really nice restaurants. Thank you, Aiken Slayer, for the silver. Thank you. Yes and no. Watch the spoilers. No, I'm not gonna watch the... What do you mean? <laughs> hmm. Uh, my daughter is back. I'm my God, Nichi Night. Thank you so much for the sofa. Oh, that warmed my heart so much. Remake ends when you leave Midgar. Oh yeah, it left Midgar a while ago, but that's only the first remake. I'm talking about the second one that just came out. It came out in February, didn't it? I think I'm not sure if I'm already if I already finished this the you know the the remake part two, but in the OG timeline, I'm not sure. Probably no, right? Yeah, I haven't finished it. But I low-key don't care. I want to play it. <laughs> but at least I played already po a part of it in the OG. You know? Hmm. So I haven't finished the Rebirth story in the original. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I want to... I don't want to play the replace. Let me play the replace. I just... It's the visuals plus the, the voice actor, please. You need to play the entire game first. No, please, Dad. Let me play the remake one and then I'll go back to the OG, please. <laughs> Zach. I, I want to see him. <clears throat> much of one. Thank you so much for the sofa. Love listening to all your stories. Momo, thanks for sharing them with us. I missed you so much hearing your laugh and feeling cozy with you again. Such a great feeling. I'm really glad to be back home. I'm just really, really glad. I can finally stream and I can finally talk with... You guys have no idea how much... Ah, uh, This is gonna sound so corny and high-key borderline parasocial. But you guys have no idea how much I was missing talking with you guys almost daily. <laughs> it's different to like tweeting and... Reading comment. I really... Guys, I missed you a lot. <laughs> I missed you so much. I love tomatoes. <laughs> I'm one of the few Ninja Ian livers that apparently just love raw tomatoes. I'm based people. <clears throat> it's not borderline. It is parasocial. Well, damn. <laughs> Ew. Yo, I could literally grab a raw tomato right now and just eat it like an apple. They're so good. The Bermuda Triangle is a great vacation spot. Most people that go there never come back. I'm gonna give that a 2 out of 10. <laughs> Honestly, I say play Crisis Core first before Rebirth. Really? But I have to finish the whole OG. Final Fantasy 7 OG and then play... Play Crisis Core and then play the remake. It's gonna be like three years by then. I'm never gonna be able to play the remake if I follow that timeline. There's major spoilers in it. Fuck, are you kidding me? Are they gonna spoil Cry? Do they spoil Crisis Core in the remake one of the old? Why? In the remake, they spoil their spoilers of Crisis Core. But why? Damn it. Remake spoils everything. Damn. <laughs> hmm. They expect people to have played it. We. We. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Lecter, thank you so much for the sofa. Ram, I'm so happy you're back. I really missed you too. Hope everything went well and I'm looking forward to your streams and what you cooked. Wait a little bit. 
I promise. I promise we've... You guys waited a lot for Air Live. Everybody was working so hard for Air Live, even even recently. A lot of people went there to help the edit to help redo a lot of things. A lot, a lot of things. Um, it's finally out, and that's like an old project. So I hope you guys are still gonna be. You guys are gonna be eating so damn good. You have the Mario Kart. You have the Air Live. You have my code yes sponsor. And then in the website, it says that there's two more things that are gonna come soon. And then recently, the higher apps had a meeting with us and they showed us like a bunch of things that they're working on. Wait, you guys are gonna be eating so damn good. It's just, um, it's just like a, like a thank you, I guess, from uh, our part for sticking with us through like a bunch of things, so. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you keep on looking forward to it because Yen is doing so much. Yen is working really, really hard for every single one of you. I'm working for you, Fantomos. Yen is working for all of peeps. Mele is working for families. Every single liver is working the best for people that know their Oshis and decide to support them through thick and thin. So, yeah. I'm gonna give you a full curse, damn it. <laughs> Let me see. Pop, 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 pop. Alejandro, muchísimas gracias por ese super, mi vida. Yo también los extrañé. Oh my god. I cannot wait for you to see. <laughs> Bacon. Bacon. Thank you. Do you plan to finish Metal Gear Solid 3? I do. Sorry, I just haven't been able to do anything at all this past two months because I was working on projects and only on projects. <laughs> I still have to finish. What is it? Oh, I still have. Give me a second, I'm gonna stretch. <laughs> is it April 14 yet? Soon. How many? How many days? Two more weeks, everybody. Um, I still have to finish a couple of things, but. I can do them while streaming normally, so that's nice. Yes. It's gonna be funny watching you trying to remember the controls. Honestly, for like everything. It's gonna be a it's gonna be chaos. Sammy, thank you so much for the super. Very very again, asking this question about my birthday was on Oh you would you have to say sorry? Can I get a birthday blush from Momo? Of course, sweetheart! Mwah. Happy birthday! I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing day. I hope you ate all the food that you wanted and all your favorite food. But other than that and above that, I, I hope you enjoyed it with people that love you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Sammy! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, birthday, babes. Mm. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much for the soba. I imagine a picture of you with your mom. This is the lunch that so and so ate, and this is the dessert thus and such had. Well, the two guys that told you about they ate this. No, actually, <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? That's what my daily reports to Ray Mama looks like. <laughs> He was like that. <laughs> and then my mom were like, okay, that looks really nice. You take a picture of the people that were eating with you, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jin, thank you so much for the sofa. Kinky Canterbury, thank you so much for the orange sofa. Welcome back. While you were gone, I got invited to a pirate theme orgy party. I asked if they had a dress code, but they say no. I hate this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. Why would <laughs> I just came back? Why would you say that? <laughs> what the fuck? Not the 10 out of 10. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Get out of here. 
<laughs> oh, it's so nice to be back, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Tommy, thank you so much for the yellow sofa. <clears throat> Love you too, thank you. Otto, thank you so much for the sofa. Random info, Idol looks good while doing all that stuff because I use high quality makeup, mostly... Really? Can they hide my entire face looking like bright red? Also, what happens if they get sweaty? Because I feel like even their hair is nice. My hair gets so ugly when I sweat. If they get all sweaty, I can understand makeup like holding up to the sweat. But what about their hair? I don't understand. Do they have like AC where they like dance? I... It's crazy. They hairspray it a lot. Oh! Is... Am I learning idle secrets? Am I learning the idle secrets? A bunch of wax and hairspray and like really heavy makeup? I should do that next time. I don't wear hairspray at all. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Otto, thank you so much for the sopa. Mini scooter, thank you so much for the Aka sopa. Tyler, Tyler is here. Thank you so much for the orange sopa. Hairspray to remove oil. I only use... The only spray that I use on my hair is dry shampoo. <laughs> Finally, I'm so glad the ghost is back from the dead. We missed you so, so much. So glad you're back. Kinda. All right, Tyler. I'm so glad that I have your, your tsundere ass back on stream. <laughs> dry shampoo? Yeah, I struggled so much this time because I forgot. I even brought a new dry shampoo can for this trip only, and I forgot to pack it. <sighs> and I don't know why Japan does not have the dry shampoo culture. <laughs> I went to so many pharmacies, so many of them, to so many companies, so many pharmacies, and they did not have dry shampoo. The only dry shampoo that I found was like a alcohol, like an alcohol spray that they call dry shampoo that was mostly for the body, but not really the, your usual dry shampoo for the hair. And I was like, where is, where do they keep the dry shampoo? I couldn't buy dry shampoo. So I had to wash my hair every like two days, day and a half even, almost every day. <clears throat> Arisa, thank you so much for the yellow sopa. Thank you for everything and welcome back, Momo. So nice to hear you. Oh my god, I can thumbs up. I can heart. I forgot. Thank you. Dry shampoo is a thing in my country. Either this is the first time I'm hearing of it. I love dry shampoo. Keeps my hair going. Honestly, instead of washing it every day, I wash it every three. I have a pretty oily hair. <laughs> so it just saves me two more days. But it's fine. That's why I have a really healthy hair. Give me a second, I want to heart every single soup. I forgot that you could do that. It's a nice thing, I love this. Now I can know who I've thanked and who I haven't. What is this? I just told my suitcase we aren't going on vacations this year. Now I'm dealing with emotional baggage. <laughs> this one's better. I want to give it a six. <laughs> Thank you, Adi, for this super. Thank you. <laughs> I love how Yuki just slaps in with money. Thank you so much. The how do we call them again? Was it Aka slap? <laughs> I just came back and she's already slapping me. <laughs> no message Aka Supa equals Aka Slap. Wee. <laughs> thank you, Yuki. Thank you. Let me keep it harding. I love. I probably keep two chats. Give me a second. I'm gonna open two chats so I can filter the supas and then I can watch you too. There we go. This. Thank you for the Aka Slap. It's nice to be back home. <laughs> Do you get notifications every time I heart your supas, or is it something that you can only see when it's going on in the in the chat? Like when the bubble comes in the chat. We do. You do. That's so cute. I'm gonna heart them every time now. Then. We do? Yay! And then thank you so much for the orange super. Thank you! 
Welcome back, Rainbow. I missed you a lot. I missed you guys too. We can see notice if you heart it, even if it expires. Really? Okay, good. I'm gonna keep on hearting them. I didn't want them to be lost. Dusk, baby, thank you so much for the Aka Super. Thank you. I missed you too. I'm here. I can finally be parasocial. <laughs> Thank you so much for waiting for me. I'm sorry I made you wait so, so much. I'm sorry. Thank you. I was so scared of coming back. So every time that I live, I think every time that I live, I always get scared of you forgetting about me. And I think I got over it little by little by taking the one month like annual vacation. But then this, this wasn't just one month only. So the fear came back a little bit. So I was really scared. <laughs> you account who this? Fuck you. <laughs> hmm. Me. I'm glad that you missed me. I also, I'm sorry for making you miss me, but I'm looking happy that you missed me because I missed you guys a lot too. Hmm. <clears throat> Mars, thank you so much for the soup. Thank you, Mirko. Thank you so much for the soup and the cookie potato cat. Thank you. I literally remember you a rain of things. Like what? Tell me. <laughs> Two months is a lot. I know. But I worked so hard. But also, I'm so sorry. The villain, thank you so much for the soup. Thank you. Shadow, thank you so much for the soup. Thank you. Otto, thank you. Adult info part two. I said they use high quality sigella. Uh, how do you say that in English? Sealer? I forgot English for that. That thing prevents the makeup from run out and the hair place. I think it's a makeup sealer. It's like a powder. I usually use it, but it might not be like the super heavy one. I use rice powder. As like a like you could call it makeup sealer. You put like that, like at like the last thing that you put on your face is a is that one. Is why you need a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Why, huh? Tell me. What do you mean, huh? Do you want me to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend and just stop streaming? Is that what you want from me, huh? You got about JJK? Oh, man. Yo, I've been reading so much Apothecary Diaries. <sighs> I read them in the airplane. I read them when I was waiting at the studio. I read them in my free days at the hotel. I read them back at the, at, at the plane ride back home. I was reading them. I am obsessed. Ah. I am so obsessed. I f now I can finally understand the frog, the frog references. Ah. I enjoyed it so much. I hope that it gets drawn, like fully drawn. <laughs> I finally got to the frog chapter. I cried in the last season episode. I cried too. It was the. Was it the Lacan one? Are you in the manga or the light novel? The light novel. I'm casually reading the manga, but obsessively, obsessively reading the light novel currently. Is this spoilers? Have you watched the anime? <sighs> I already knew what happened. I don't know why it made me cry. I saw it in the ma I read it in the manga. And I felt so bad for disliking him first, but when I watched it animated, it made me cry. <laughs> Yo, I love that opening. Every yo, every time that we read stuff, I don't know why. I don't know why in karaoke, both in karaoke or like randomly when we were working with staff, we would just start singing out of the blue. It was so crazy. Uh, I love it. That opening is I loved by everybody. It's such a good song. I love both of them. I accidentally used a dog shampoo this morning. I feel like a good boy. Are you? I don't think you're a good boy. 
I don't think that I don't think that will be able to make you a good boy. I think you need more. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Hmm. Nom, nom, nom. What should I have for lunch today? イムちゃんお帰りなさい。ありがとうさなちゃん、スーパーちゃんもありがとう。ただいま。日本まで大好き私。すごい楽しかったんです。うちのなんか大先輩とか他の先輩ともなんか会うことができて他のなんか二三二
3D ライブだもん楽しみにしてください !I'm so happy! <笑> Hi, coffee. Happy 17 months. Hineki, happy 23 months. I'm so happy reading everybody's name. You guys didn't forget about You guys didn't leave me. I'm so happy. e p e r s happy 10 months. These are happy 21 months. Nicole, happy 18 months. Fools, happy 27 months. a p p p o welcome back to the Phantom of Family. June, happy eight months. I missed you too. Oh, you want me to leave? When did I ever say that? <laughs> Arkia, welcome to the Phantom family. z a d a d u happy seven months. <laughs> I'm like, I love you guys. I missed you, huh? So, let me out of the house, huh? So, you didn't miss me enough, huh? I'm just gonna leave then. <laughs> Freaking soon that I asked, Phantom. <laughs> LA Kaito, happy six months! Dear Princess, thank you so much for the s u p a s t i c a Otto, happy 27 months! Makavaka, happy 17 months! <laughs> Forget you never, by the way. What is your name again? I'm gonna end all your ass. Thank you for the super chat, though. <laughs> Happy one month, Pinkerton. Happy first year. Lanzo, happy first year too. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Adrian, happy 10 months. Alex, happy 18 months. Apu, happy 22 months. Mapo, Mapo, happy 15 months. Thank you. I'm trying not to cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just really happy. Peter now happy 17 months and Sophia happy 13 months. You guys are gonna make me cry. We. We. I already got tears in my eyes. Elizabeth man happy 13 months. Chris happy 10 months. Ninoli, happy 11 months. Angie, welcome back to the Phantom of Family. Bacon Slayer, thank you so much for the 10. 15! 15 gifted, thank you. And you cry on command? No. I wish I did. Maybe I wouldn't be such a crybaby then. <laughs> Azella, happy 14 months. Audie, thank you so much for the super chat. The cannibal's favorite type of shampoo. What's with you and shampoo today? I only talked about dry shampoo once. <laughs> Head and shoulders. I was so bad. I'm gonna give it a five. <laughs> Fine, you're getting that. Yeah, you know what? Six. Six out of ten. It is happy 13 months. I'm sorry, guys. I made you wait so much. Ugh. Ugh. I made you wait so much, but I've been working on a lot of things for you. So I hope you'll stay here a little bit longer so you can see it. It was two months, it's not that long. It is too long! You mean it's not that long? <laughs> Tyler, happy eight months. Shampoo powder? No, it's dry shampoo! I know that phrase! Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you, a sign of affection. <laughs> thank you, Mirko, thank you. <laughs> Me learning German through anime. I love it. Lecter, thank you so much for the yellow sopa. Also, Connie, happy 16 months. Be happy 15 months. Ash, thank you so much for the sopa. I missed you so much. Mimi. <laughs> she has been a good girl in this stream, though. She hasn't been barking. Which is kind of unusual, really. <laughs> Kanchito, happy 26 months. 
Don't you happy 21? Persian, thank you so much. The five gifted, thank you. Nala, happy eight months. Be happy 10 months. Bacon, thank you so much for the five gifted. Bacon went kind of hard with the gifted, guys. If you got a if you got a gifted member from Bacon, make sure to <laughs> sorry. Pick up. <laughs> make sure to thank them, okay? I know that what a lot of people when they see like a pink super shadow on an Aka super, it's like more visible because of the colors and whatnot, but gifted members are you know. They, oh, judging by the amount of like gifted members given on this stream, it also takes a lot of money. So make sure, because also it's not for me. Gifted members are also a gift for the community. So make sure to thank them. Okay, they're spreading a lot of love. Okay, it's not it's not a cheap love either. <laughs> so if you got one. Make sure to say thank you. Okay. Pacha, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you. なんでなんでありがとう。マジで会いたかったみんな。もう。もう会えて嬉しいよ。毎日みんなと話せるし、配信とかもできるし、仕事も仕事も好きなんだけどやっぱりみんなと話せない時にさ、寂しくなるわ
Also, you guys went kind of crazy, even though I wasn't streaming on Streamlabs, I feel... I feel I cannot thank you enough. I was dying in... I was dying in my bathtub. And you guys were just like, throwing me out of nowhere. Akasob, it's like... Hello? Like, literally? Literally. Can I copy-paste this? I'm calling you out. <laughs> you guys don't know how many I re <laughs> Just that. And I'm like... <laughs> That's the only messages that you guys would sometimes leave. And I was like... <laughs> Why would you just send hi? <laughs> I would just like read them when I was in the bathtub and I would Loki like laughers and then would Loki end up crying because I miss you guys so much but it would be so funny just to see like a huge Aka slap through Sobit to the just like hey and I'm like eh, you fucking clown <laughs> <laughs> There's so many like that. So many. Thank <laughs> you. Blaze and Yosh, thank you so much for the Aka Solvit. Thank you so much for letting me buy the Apothecary Diaries light novels. I've been reading them like crazy. My reading speed has has upped like at least double when reading that series. You backed up stream before? No, I'm shy. I was just taking a bath without you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Thank you so much for your entry, Blaze and Yoshi. Relatrix, thank you. PLT, thank you so much for the soul bit. Riley, thank you so much for the Aka soul bit. Congrats on your Lelouch plush. Thank you! I can't believe I had an official code Kia sponsor and I'm officially, it's not even fanner. I'm officially holding Lelouch La Perouche plushie. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's been a lot of things, a lot of good things happening recently. I am just happy. I don't know how else to say this same thing in like other words. Synonym. Synonym for happy. I am contented. Con content. Cheerful. I am cheery. I am merry, joyful, j uh, jolly, jocular, <laughs> gleeful, and I'm troubled. <laughs> I am felicitous and auspicious. What the fuck is this? I don't know how else to say it. I'm just really happy. <laughs> mm. Pinkerton and Riley. Elector, thank you so much for the soul of it. I read every single message, by the way. I read them the same day that you would send them. So I'm just making sure that I thank the list because you guys went crazy even though I was not streaming. Nikoseki, thank you so much for the, for the Aka Super. Thank you. Good luck with your work trip, Momo. I was busy at work last week, but I got your birthday merch and all of it. You're a cooking bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> Mishka and Blaze and Yoshi and Rotrix and Mishka and thank you so much. Inzuma, thank you so much for the... Hey. <laughs> I got so bit. I read this. It was like what? It was like 10 or 9 p.m. in Japan when I got into the bathtub and I was checking. Because <laughs> you guys love sending me messages through so bit. So it's like me checking the diary, our secret chat, and I just read... Hey. <laughs> thank you so much, Inzuma. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I did give a hug to my money. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I did. I did read the, the next one with the money. <laughs> Riley, thank you so much for another Aka Solvit. Someday. <laughs> it's the canonical. It's the canonically. Is, is the canon message in case you want to know what I'm replying to because you said quite a lot <laughs> Maybe it'll be canon <laughs> Max and Rotrix, thank you so much Riley. Thank you so much for the pink one <laughs> I wasn't able to figure out the cheese 
Honestly, in my defense, guessing Yahweh was so hard. Yahweh, it's not... They told us that it was only going to be a place or... A, a, a place, an object, or a person. They never told us that it was just going to be like a... How do you call it Yahweh? Is it just like... It's a term. It's a con... Yeah, it's a concept. I was like, you didn't tell me that we were going to have concepts. And it was the only one out of them all. <laughs> the worst part is that I couldn't even get cheese. <laughs> I'm here crying over, over the over Yaoi one, but I couldn't guess the cheese one. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Tinkerton, thank you so much for the solvent, Nickel Sticky, Rotrix, Riley, Nervy. Three times nervy, road tricks, blazing Yoshi, pinker tongue, nervy two times blazing. Yoshi, thank you so much for the Aka Solve. The Sakura trees are projected to bloom starting March 23. I was still there, and trust me, there were no Sakura ones. It was only one big tree at Ueno Park, and then a couple of trees every, like, I don't know, 200 kilometers in Tokyo. I feel they're late. I feel they're probably blossoming like right now, either right now or the first days of April. I feel they were just late. And also, if there had been sakuras in other places, there was one time that rained a lot. Like there was a heavy, heavy rain. And it was, I'm not even exaggerating, it rained the entire day. It was already raining when I woke up early and it was raining when I went to bed at like midnight. So I think that rain killed a bunch of Sakura too. Also, fuck Shu. I <laughs> that was so random. Shu is like a ame otoko. He brings the rain everywhere he goes. I swear to God. I was like, Shu, can you get out of this? <laughs> he was so mean. I was like, Shu, can you get out? Every time the Shu would like come with us, it would rain. I swear to God. And then when I went to Disneyland, it rained the entire day too. I I made myself cute to meet the girls. I bought a new dress. I dyed my hair again. You know, sometimes white is nice, but sometimes I like to make it another color sometimes. And I straightened my hair really nice. I styled my hair and then it rained the whole fucking day and my hair became like a nest of birds. It was, you know, you girlies, you know how your hair becomes when it rains a lot, right? It just becomes like a used brush. I looked so ugly the entire day. And then she was like, I'm sorry, I went out. She was like, well, Disney night is a little bit far away from Tokyo, so maybe it won't rain. It rained the entire day. I know. I looked so ugly because of all the humidity and all the rain. Uh, I was supposed to have a cute date on Disneyland. I was supposed to be looking like a princess. It was supposed to be like my first in real interaction with these girls and I looked so ugly. <laughs> Yo, there were some hardcore like girls, Japanese girls in the in the bathrooms that brought like their freaking hot uh, iron. They had the the, stra the straighteners the, the the iron for the hairs in their bags they would just like take their irons out of the bags plug it in the bathrooms and just like fix their hairs so many of them and i was like holy shit i came so unprepared why i don't know they they the dedication i don't know how they even fit the iron in their bags but so many of them were just taking their irons out and i was like fuck <laughs> Maybe next time I should bring my iron in my bag. <laughs> a lot of them were just like running into the bathrooms. And every time that we'll go pee, I would see like at least six girls in the bathrooms using their irons from their bags. They're crazy. I was just like curling my hair. Have you seen the dead mom hairstyle? I would do that with like a giant curl in my hair to like try to control the frizz. Just like, try to make it into a really nice curl on the right. It still looked pretty bad. I was so desperate to the point that I wanted to ask at least one girl, like, can I use your iron? 
They have sockets in the toilets. They do. This this is the one thing that I love about Japanese toilets. For the girls, at least. I wish I could have them here in the West. Um, There is obviously the... What is it? The toilet section of the bathroom. They have the hand washing section of the bathroom. And there's another section divided. Where it's just a lot of like... Like mini mirrors. Where like little mini like desks made onto the walls that's like the makeup that's like the makeup section you can fix your makeup there's like little sockets too you can fix your makeup for the extra girls that have like the iron you like a mini desk a lot of mini desks engraved like a lot of yeah vanity areas it's so convenient i know i was like i wish i had this so a lot of girls were fixing their makeups. The, the, the really extra Japanese girls that took their iron out of the bags could also like fix their hairs because it has suckets. I really, I was enjoying that so much. I did not fix my hair outside because I don't bring my iron with me in my bag. But I would fix my makeup a lot. I wish I had it. Can you charge your phone there? Yeah, technically. If you have your charger, you can. <laughs> I wish we had them. Was it raining so bad? It was raining so bad. We were... We were having to... We, we were using an umbrella like... We used an umbrella like 80% of the day in Disneyland. It ran... It ran. It rained the entire day. It was bad. <laughs> I even like washed my hair for that day and like used my iron. And like wore this really cute makeup and this really cute heels and it was just a muddy, rainy Disneyland day with a lot of freezy hair and I felt so ugly. <laughs> I don't know why Japanese hair is so different. I wish, I wish I had their structure. There was only one of the girls that, you know, fought the, the, the frizz like me, but the other girlies their hair was so flat like it just fell down just like normal i feel it was like so heavy that it, it didn't get affected by the frizz their hair looks so normal and i was like why am i the only one that looks ugly <laughs> i don't know man yeah asian hair build different quite literally quite literally I also learned it from the, the hairstylist too. So one of my friends went to the hairstylist when we were this time we were in Tokyo and they had to bleach their her hair. And he was saying that he had he probably had to, he will probably have to bleach her hair twice to like reach the the tone that it was needed to like dye her hair. And apparently it went bleach, bleach. It went to like flatten them white really fast in the first like bleach patch and i think it's because of what the style one of my stylists said but also one of my stylists over here said that asian hair i guess just in japan it has different like chemical comp chemical it just has a different composition so asian hair is actually harder to bleach so one in Japan and probably other Asian countries, they use a uh, stronger bleach than in the West. And also, it just takes longer. So if you use one of those bleaches in like... Western type of hair, it bleaches super fast. Hmm. That's one of the things that I learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found that interesting. You never look ugly even with a bad hair day to the to the weather. No, that's what you say right now. Riley, thank you so much for the Aka Solvent. That's what you say right now, but I was I was really looking so ugly. I didn't even you know, I should be more girly. I feel like I'm girly, but I'm not girly enough. Cause all my girly girls that I went with on with Disney, they had their irons and also they had their makeup. I have too much makeup. I, and also I don't bring the only makeup thing that I bring in my bag is like my lipstick. <laughs> I don't bring like um, Sometimes when I feel extra I bring like my powder <laughs> Like a sealer powder And then the only thing that I do In the bathroom is just The, 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 the paper Thing 
where you just like press a little bit of paper to like take the oil off <laughs> and like i would see all these japanese girlies like bring everything makeup related their base their powder their blush they would bring the eyeliner they would bring the freaking eyelash curler they would bring like the what is it I forgot how to say that in English. I forgot the word. The powder that you use on the eye eyelids. Eyeshadow. They would bring the eye. If they were prepared. And the worst part is that I don't know how. That's the, that's the question. That's the point. Their bags aren't even that big. <laughs> it was just normal size bags. Mine's probably mine are a little bit smaller than theirs. Maybe that's why. But also their bags weren't even that big. So I was like, how the fuck? They would bring their their freaking. I forgot how to say the the, the, the the thing that makes your face a little bit shinier. Their mascara. They would bring everything. I felt like a man. I, I felt like maybe I need to like bring more makeup in my bag. I have no idea. I would just like take the oil off my face with with the with the paper back. Re did a you know a little retouch of my lips. Put a little bit of like powder again on my face and that's it. Now let's see all the girls like redo their makeup again. I felt like a man. I need to level up my game. <laughs> There's these little oil wipes. I know. And they probably use that. I literally use toilet paper. <laughs> they probably have oil. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have the oil wabs. I just grabbed toilet paper and I'm like <laughs> To take the oil off my face <laughs> Yay, toilet paper works just fine <laughs> Laugh all you want. Thank you, Sophia Laugh all you want and you can be fancy and get your oil things if you want But toilet paper also works, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Just press it slightly against your face and it takes a little bit of oil out. <laughs> my god, I punched my microphone again. I'm sorry. It's called the economy. <laughs> I'm sorry. A little. It works a little. <laughs> Not even a napkin? Well, no. Why would bathrooms have napkins? <laughs> what kind of makeup does a sat clown wear? Foundation. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ari, for that super chat. Uh, <coughs> oh, God. Feel me, thank you so much for the sofa. Even in the rain, you'll always be a sunshine. I wish. Fucking shoe ruining my Disneyland date. <laughs> Jim, thank you so much for the super chat. I missed you too. Freaking shoe. The worst part is that when he left Japan, it stopped raining. That's the worst part. <laughs> Roachings and Insima, thank you so much for the pink solvent. Riley, thank you so much for the double solvent, the villain. Sup, dude. Zingli, Caraway, Insima. Roachings, Nikoseki, Blazin Yoshi, Pinkerton, Brendan, Blazin Yoshi, Lecter. Thank you so much for the solvent. Riley, thank you so much for the Aka. Solbit's lap. <laughs> thank you. You're superstitious? No. But it's really funny to like... Have people that, you know... It's always raining when Shu is there. It's crazy. I know that it sounds dumb. But literally, it always rains when he's there. I don't know how he does it. I don't know what curse is inflicted on Shu. I don't know. I don't think it's a curse. I think it's just an ame otoko. There's just like people that bring the rain and people that it's always sh sunny whenever they go. He's just rain man. <laughs> He's a magician. Mishka, thank you so much for the soul, but Riley, blazing your seat. Thank you so much, blazing. Thank you so much, the Aka soul, but. Thank you so much for wishing me luck for the code key. Yes, thank you. Arabak, thank you so much for the Aka Solvit. These are all the solvents that you guys sent me when I wasn't even like streaming. Thank you so, so much. You guys sent me like support messages and just a, uh, you know, even this one. Hey. 
<laughs> thank you. <laughs> Nervy, thank you so much. Riley, thank you so much. The Aka Solvit, I missed you too. <laughs> Stop. It was so funny though. It's my favorite one so far. <laughs> Nervy and Riley and Nervy with the triple one and Pinkerton and Abyss. Thank you so much. Inuki, thank you so much for the pink solvent. Welcome back! Tadaima, kaitekimashita, Nihon no shigoto tsukarisama deshita. Yesterday was the first day of my 30s. I ran to the bathroom and cried for 20 minutes. Why? When I saw the third. And. and oh, and the AR live announcement! No, 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 don't cry. Come, come to my arms. Then maybe you can cry. この幸せ、この幸せ、嬉しい。嬉しさ。マイガード、I なんか、一瞬間じゃなくて、ま、すごく今まですっごくすっごく頑張ってきたんだよ、みんな。ごめん、なんか感動しすぎて泣いちゃうよ、私。なんかやっとみんなに<笑> Ah, ah, you got me with that one. Pinkerton, thank you so much for the Aka Solve. Trey Princess, thank you so uh, Not even Aka Solve for the Aka Itai! For the Aka Slap, thank you! <laughs> Trey Princess, thank you so much for the Solve. Welcome home. Homecoming flowers? For me? Thank you. <laughs> So thank you so much for the soul of it. Nikoseki, thank you so much for the Aka soul of it. The last stream, thank you so much for the soul of it. Okay, Nasa. Tadaima this. Can't talk much right now. I need to save my battery because I'm in line. <gasps> I'm so jealous! I hope you enjoy Ado's concert. Ah, I want it. Oh. What are you doing here? Go enjoy it. Tell me what tell me what it's like after. I cannot believe Sue is at the Addos concert. Damn, I wish that was me. I wish that was me. I came to Japan and it was already done and then I came here and I just came here and it's happening right now. God damn, I wish that was me so badly. Yeah, Ado. You guys you guys call her like Ado? <laughs> I call it Ado, I'm sorry. It should have been me. Not them. <laughs> Zali, thank you. I'm back. I am so tired, but I'm back. I wish you had been there in Japan, Sally. I would probably have recognized you. Recognized you though. I went to. I know you did. You showed me the picture. You're so fucking lucky. Ah, I wish I was there. I'm so jealous. <laughs> you don't have to rub it in my face again, damn it. You know what? When I meet you in real, I'm just like purposely going to like do the same thing I did. I accidentally did to Van, so I'm just gonna like rain past you. Hello! Freaking Zally, he's such a lucky man. I wish I had been in that concert. Uh, I'd always so talented. So jealous. Karma for the Disney thing? Why do. <laughs> Why do I have to go to Disney with Asto? Huh? <laughs> Why would I get karma from that? Why do I have to go to Disneyland with Asto? <laughs> I 
I'm a strong, independent young lady that can... <laughs> I don't even have an excuse. Broke his heart? Nah. Give me a second, I'm gonna... His heart is made by, by rubber, so that he can keep as many girls as he can inside. Fucking ass, the letter. Give me a second, I'm gonna blow my nose. This is why. Ew, females? No, girls are so nice. At least the girls that I went to this Disneyland with. <sighs> so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. There's one in a specific that I thought that was really cute. I'm gonna talk about it when they say they're comfortable enough to talk about it. Maybe? Maybe at some point in the stream, maybe everybody will talk about it together. Hopefully. That would be really like, Tete, I wanna do it. For now, I'm gonna keep it a secret. But there was There was this one girl. I held hands with in, <laughs> in the roller coasters twice. <laughs> and she was really cute. She was the one that was like redoing her makeup in the bathroom. And she was the one that was sitting next to me, you know, the real roller coasters. And I was like holding her hand so damn hard. And I thought she was really cute. <laughs> and I also, we also spilled a little bit of tea. <laughs> it's nice. So lewd in public? I know. She was oh she was actually holding my hand too after the roller coaster. It wasn't even like during the moment, but also after the roller coaster. Like if you make me pick between that moment and like Asta Letta, I'm sorry. Like I have no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> she was so cute. I will never write that again, but also it was a nice memory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what should I get for lunch? I don't have anything in my I don't I need to do groceries. I don't have anything in my fridge, guys. I'm gonna do groceries next week. My my parents bought me bread and I have milk and I have Ham and eggs. That's literally any, everything that I have. I've been eating like ham and eggs and Milo and like toast every for like the, the past like two or three days for, for breakfast. I don't have anything else. I cannot do lunch with this. I probably do KFC. You know why? Yesterday I tried a new restaurant that was supposed to be healthy food. Like they, they market themselves as really healthy food and it looked really healthy. Don't get me wrong. So I got this pork with avocado and a little bit of rice and i got yogurt with like fruits because i've been craving yogurt with fruits a lot like greek yogurt and it was so mid i was like so this is why people end up going to fucking mcdonald's man if you're gonna do like super healthy food like make it taste good so that people keep on eating healthy so like after yesterday i'm like <laughs> Tomorrow I'll just have KFC. <laughs> I even gave it a chance. I'm gonna have KFC today. <laughs> I know you, of course. Yeah, I know you. you obviously, hundred percent can make healthy food taste good. I don't know why. And you know, the prize wasn't even like McDonald's prize. It was like we are a healthy food restaurant, so. We charge a little bit more because we make it with love and a lot of care. We think about you and your diet. Bruh. Bruh. I don't think I'm ever gonna have it, a meal again from that restaurant unless somebody's paying for me. <laughs> I, I know, and healthy food does not have to be expensive either. Like, if you don't make it taste good, people with money won't have it again. And if you if you make it too expensive, people with low budget, which is a lot of people, would go to the restaurant. We're just gonna go to fucking KFC. What's the point? All right, let me get KFC. We are gonna have our usual baby barbecue, our usual barbecue crunch. I want popcorn. I yo Japan's KFC is actually really nice. It's, I've, I've, I've had, so far I've had Colombia KFC, Japanese KFC, Canada KFC, the UK KFC. 
I need to, I had American KFC a while back when I was in middle school, so I need to taste it again. So far, Colombian KFC is the best one. Then Japan KFC. No, I did not have KFC in Sweden. <laughs> My sister doesn't eat meat. Ugh. Um, That is the Canada one, and the worst one so far has been the UK one. It's just because... I don't know why. Have you seen the popcorn one? Popcorn one is supposed to be like... It's supposed to look like popcorn. It's supposed to like... Expand. I don't know how to describe it. It's supposed to look crunchy. But the popcorn from the KFC, it's just... The, the, the batter that covers the, the popcorn, it's flat. So it's just like this square popcorn with like really flat butter on it. And I'm like, where's the crunch? There's no crunch. Yeah, it's not puffy or crunchy. It's just a really flat butter. That sounds weird. I know. Japan ones was, re was, was crunchy too. It's just I feel the most fluffy and crunchy one is a Colombian one so far, but... But I love the teriyaki burger from KFC from Japan. We don't have the teriyaki burger here, but... We have barbecue. But I love the teriyaki burger one from Japan. KFC has become pretty popular. Every every single time that I travel to another country, I start out, I will try their KFC and give, and give you guys my opinion. I love KFC so much. Mermidon, thank you so much for the soup boy! Nekoseki, thank you so much for the, for the another soup. I sold it. Thank you. Okay, I'm so happy to watch your streams again. Not to be parasocial or anything, but hearing your laugh makes me feel so emotional. You guys almost make you guys almost make me cry like four times. You, you have no right. <laughs> Miss you also please ignore this if unnecessary. I will. I I do want to finish Lies of P. That's a game that I genuinely enjoy. It's just that I've been irresponsibly picking up on so many other games <laughs> thank you thank you Tom. thank you so much for the orange sopa i'm sending this sopa to beseech you to not eat usa kfc nothing has changed recently it still sucks send help no wait send country. is it really that bad when i was at the airport remember when i tweeted like oh my god i just got like this iced tea and i ordered a small iced tea and it was like bigger than my face i was eating from chick-fil-a there's all there's only Chick-fil-A in the airport and I know what <laughs> I know the image that Chick-fil-A has, but I was really craving fried chicken. And their burger was actually nice. It did not have any I like the fact that I, I think I got the Chick-fil-A deluxe something. Um and I actually liked it. It didn't it did not have any sauces already in it, so I did not add any sauce. I just had it with the Jollibee. I've never had Jollibee. I want to. Um, I only had it with like tomato and the lettuce and the iced tea. And it was pretty good. Iced tea though. Iced tea. I had to like drink it while I was waiting. Or, you know, to get on the plane. Because it was so, it was so big. I was wondering if this is a small size. How's the, how's the L one? How's the L one? I also like the fact that I, I order without sweet, like unsweetened iced tea, and it actually did not have sugar. So I was like, oh my god, real tea. <laughs> I was like, yay, real tea. <laughs> it was pretty nice. I always have Chick fil A every time that I go through airports in America. <clears throat> All right, let me see. Barbecue crunch combo. Wait, no, it's not this one. Where's my barbecue? Where's my barbecue crunch? Extra large, did you just jump in a two liter bottle? I was so scared. It was genuinely bigger than my face. I'm not even exaggerating. I, I felt like I was truly in America, which is kind of weird to say, but. <laughs> you can get KFC if it's 2 a.m. Don't, don't let time limit you. Sasuga America, so this is the land of the free. <laughs> well, let's get this one. I don't know, let's get it separated. I feel last time that I ordered the barbecue crunch set box, it was. Remember that how they forgot to bring me the fucking burger? Even though it was barbecue, burger, crunch, combo? 
and they only gave me the popcorn. I was like, where the fuck is my burger? <laughs> now I just order everything like a separate item. <laughs> Riley, thank you so much for the pink sopa. I know I got scammed. <laughs> There's so many places to get fried chicken that's really good in KFC isn't even like top five. Not to mention local places that do better fried chicken cheaper than a chain restaurant. No, I fully believe that though. I fully believe that, 100%. <laughs> There's this one really small Korean restaurant back in like the smallest town where my parents live now. It has, it, it's so small that it only has space for like two tables. I've never tasted a better fried chicken, like, ever, in my life. It's so good. <laughs> but it's so small that it's so hard to, like, find a place there. I like a seat. My hobby's eating chairs on the couch and is... Oh my god. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> now I understand why you two got married. Damn. Damn. You're making me regret a little bit the Disneyland. <laughs> the Disneyland. I'm like, is this why I'm single? <laughs> How do people get boyfriends and girlfriends? <laughs> Alright, barbecue crunch. Yeah, that's why. Fuck. Let's see. I've never tried doing the cherry thing. I don't think I can do it, but... You're only single because we haven't met a real. That is such... <laughs> Damn, that's a good race. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's a mystery. Don't say that. I'll get depressed. I want to know who in Ninja Ian can do the cherry stem thing. I don't think anybody can. And any liver that tells you they can, they are probably lying to you. I'm going to be honest. And 100%, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a dude. One of the boys are going to be like, I can. They're fucking lying. I'm pretty 100% sure that nobody in the boys in Ninja Ian can, that, can do that shit. But they want to look cool for you and they, they will 100% lie and be like, oh, I totally can. They cannot. Do not trust them. They're fucking liars. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe. I'm very coded. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it real for you. Don't believe in their lies. <laughs> Alright, we're getting popcorn, the big popcorn, so I can have lunch for today and tomorrow. <laughs> um, I don't need tea. I have a bunch of tea. We have popcorn and the burger so that's like lunch for three days <laughs> i'm gonna get fries do i i already have no have you noticed how fries are something that you can do at home but no matter how hard you try it's never as good as like a normal fried a normal like fast food restaurant i don't know how they i need to like go in the kitchen like a spy and see how the fuck they fries their fries I have no idea. I've tried everything. It's never as delicious as a normal, shitty, fast food restaurant. I need to go in there as a spy and like learn their way to do it and then I can do that at home. <clears throat> Apparently you're supposed to freeze them before you fry. Damn. What if they mix like... What if they mi is it because I use oil? What if they fry it in like animal fat? Then again, I think that's too expensive. I don't know, but like their fries are so good. All right, we have fries, we have the popcorn chicken, and we have the, oh my God, this is so cheap. Bless. Sorry guys, I just got used to like Japan prices. And then I come back to Colombia, and I see like the same things that I order, but in Colombia, and I'm like, yay. They're a world country, economic crisis. I love 
this price is. <laughs> we love third world country prices. I know. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Is Japan cheaper than Colombia? No. Here, let me see. Colombian peso to Japan yen. So, wait. So, how much was this? This was 48k peso. Which is, by the way, Loki, because I ordered multiple things. Let's just say 50k peso. That's close to 2k yen. So that's like. Let me change it to USD. So I had big fries, big popcorn, crunchy burger, and you can get that for $11. <laughs> you can get all of that for $11, by the way. <laughs> Fifty k peso is two k yen. I thought Japanese yen was weak. Well, Colombian peso is weaker. <laughs> Welcome to Latin America. <laughs> That's why. That's why I didn't buy anything in this trip. I only bought two mugs. <laughs> Everybody else was buying Gucci bags and they were buying clothes. I I bought two. I bought three Miffy mugs. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, that's too much for this trip. And that's everything that I bought. <laughs> Welcome to Latin America. <laughs> They're really cute though. <laughs> Rainbow did buy her own place. I did though. Um I'm now ha I now have a twenty plus year debt with the state. But I am a land owner. A Latin American land owner though. You, you gotta make that clear. <laughs> Because then people that live in fucking California or anything, they're going to be like, what the fuck? How do you buy a place? And I'm like, well, it's probably like 2% of what you pay every month. But <laughs> <clears throat> I'm adulting in Latin America, but I'm adulting. I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I have too many blessings, that's it. I am thankful for it, I'm thankful though. Congrats, Momo, thank you. I've been paying it for a while. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really, I'm really happy that it was thanks to this job that I was able to call myself a, a landowner. I never thought that I was going to. At like 444 years old All my unit friends are still living with their parents and no no judgment from like no judgment at all from my words It's just that right now. It's so impossible to live alone You gotta either live with roomies If you got if you want to find like a nice place It's so hard for you to like leave your parents home right now in this generation in this economy mm -mm. Just being able to like say that you actually own your own apartment or your own condo it's crazy <clears throat> and all of them have like actual normal and nice jobs guys <laughs> like they haven't been living there for free they've been working like a couple of years already and like they're still living with them because it's really difficult shakes my head if you need money just marry me and i'll pay your expenses <laughs> riley do you want to go to disneyland with me <laughs> disneyland c <laughs> I went in Disneyland already. Do you want to go to see? <laughs> this time I haven't been to Japan. Disneyland, see? <laughs> Thank you so much for the Akasobe. Thank you. <laughs> Don't even joke yourself. I, I really do want to go to see, though. <laughs> Hi, Nimamo. So happy to watch your streams again. Not to be parasocial. Thank you, Mermidon. Thank you, baby. They seem like trips close to fortune, though. No joke. They do! Well, at least from what I remember from Orlando, though. It's because the... Disney Orlando is, like, pretty far away from, like, a... Uh, the neighborhood area. And Japan is not that far. You, you need to take the... 
the JR line still. The I forgot the name of it, but it's not the JR JR. It's the it's the red one. <clears throat> There's so many people. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I think the only reason why I only bought like three mocks from Miffy that time it's because <clears throat> no, it's not the modern OET. Um, it's because. When everybody came out of Disney at like 11 p.m. when they were gonna close the the park, um, you guys cannot believe the sea of people that you could see when you were walking out of Disney on like the really big bridge to to the to the station. You cannot believe the amount and the sea of people waiting at the station. We got so overwhelmed; our feet were hurting like hell. We were tired. We looked at the crowd and we were like, we have to wait at least like a half an hour for it to, to get on the train. And it will be impossible to be able to sit down. So at the end, we ended up paying for a taxi. And the taxi was low-key expensive. I mean, taxi is at... God damn it. I did not... I only took taxis like three times when I was in Japan. Most of them were not that bad. It was like $20, maybe like $19, $16. Cause it was like close by and I only took taxis when I was like, I got really late when I overslept or something. I was like, fuck. But from Disney to like when I was staying, it was like, it was like $60, I'm no joking. So we had to take a taxi and we, we divided it. But we were so desperate. We like we did not want to deal with that. So we just took a taxi. Honestly, Loki better. But it was so expensive. <laughs> I think it's Chul saying, no? I don't remember. I missed three hours. Yeah, I'm gonna end stream soon too. Cause I wanna eat. The restaurant is preparing your order. I feel like I didn't say any stories at all. I'm so sorry. I literally went there to work. I met with a lot of people, I met with a lot of JP, I met with a lot of people outside of Niji. And then I was working the rest of the days. That was that was my vibe with Japan. I was so happy though. Riley, thank you so much for this Aka solve it! I went to Disney only once with two friends and it was like, okay. Honestly, I've gone to better places. I haven't said that. I could totally go again with a pretty girl and buy anything she wants. I want did I show you? Well, I cannot show it on stream because I guess I'm scared of Disney, but. Oh, I haven't shown you. <laughs> uh, I actually bought a uh, matching mini mouse. The mini mouse like thing that you can like put on your head. Usually I don't do that in, in America Disneyland because uh, nobody does that. <laughs> no, not the hat, but like the headband. Yeah, the headband. But everybody in Japan has them, so like you don't feel shy anymore. You don't feel like embarrassed because everybody has them, even the adults. Everybody has them. So I wouldn't make you buy me anything, Riley, just except for like matching like Minnie Mouse ears, like the headband ones. I bought one because I was using a obviously I was using a white shirt again. So I bought this platinum uh Minnie Mouse ears. And I, I brought them with me. I actually brought them with me in my in my luggage. It's like a memory. All of us but all of us but like different different kinds of ears. <clears throat> You're so nice. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> Honey. Hi Gatch. Gatchus. Ah, that's how you call the headband! I did not know! I've it's not called it. I'm not calling it. I'm not calling it. うん、カップルとか家族とか、ま、大人とか全然つけないね。ね。うん。つけないんだ。そうそうで、なんか<笑> 
なんだっけ大学生のやつ大学生の制服着る人はなんかあれはめちゃくちゃ日本の文化っぽいですよあれアメリカには全然ないですよそんなことで I learned that there's like a rental いやいや there's like a rental 制服ディスネイそうだよ知らなかったんですよ友達と一緒に来たいなんか行った時にさ周り,周りに見たらなんかめちゃくちゃ可愛い女の子なんか大体みんなが制服って着てたんだ、ね、あれなんでなんかなんでなんかなんだっけはらふがはらせハイスコー高校生高校生かななんでなんかこんなに高校生たくさんいるのかなって聞いたらあ,あれはなんか高校生じゃないなんか制服ディズニーだよなんか制服買えるレン,レンタルとかあるしで普通に着るで普通になんかディズニー行くってことだよ言われたんだけどそう高校生じゃなくてもなんか着れるみたいな知らなかったんですよショックだった文化の<笑>ショックで I learned that、um, in, in Japan you see like when I was in Japan in Disneyland and I looked around I saw like a lot of girls with like high school uniforms And I was like, why are there so many high schoolers right now? Is, is, are you on break? Like, why are you、um, in a Monday in the morning with uniforms? And then my friends told me that that's actually not like high schoolers.、It's, there's this thing that they call it a s e i f u k u Disney, like uniform, high school uniform Disney, because there's a lot of like rental shops where you can get a, a, a high school uniform that you can rent. And a lot of people use it and go to Disney like that. I don't know why. They told me, like, it's just like this thing in Japan when Disney just low key, like, reminds them of that time. I don't know. So they wear, like, a lot of, uh, I know, osoroi seifuku, like,、uh, matching uniforms. And I, not only the girls, I saw a lot of boys like that. Nanka, o n a n o k o janakte, nanka seifuku kitata, otoko no komo mita yo atashi. Nanka kapuru no osoroi mita i n a y a t s No, it's not a kink. <laughs> it's just like a thing they do to, like, you know, yeah, like the good old days when you were younger and stuff like that. And also, it was not only girls, you could see like couples, like girl and boy couple that would come with like、uh, matching high school uniforms and shit like that. Yeah, it's just an aesthetic. And I was like, damn. Mm <clears> hmm. <throat> The fact they can wear that and you mistake them for high schoolers, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> high school is considered the happiest day of someone's life in Japan. I got bullied in high school. Fuck high school. High school sucks. <laughs> I would never fucking wear again my high school uniform. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Uniform was pretty cute, but never wearing that shit again. Fuck that. But, you know, I'm like, 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 した,したいなら多分私するよそんなに恥ずかし,恥ずかしくないけど恥ずかしいけどそんなに恥ずか,恥ずかしくないから多分友達と一緒になんかできることをいつかなわかんないけど恥ずかしいよ制服だって<笑>そうだよ仲良しなんかいい友達としたらなうんうん I was telling them that I could never, I could never do that in America. It's too hasukashi. But like, it's so normalized, like, it's genuinely 100% normalized in Japan that at some point you don't feel as shy as you would feel in other countries. I would never do it alone because I'm too shy. I'm too embarrassed. But if a lot of my friends were to want to do it, I would probably do it with them, but only in Japan. 
<clears throat> coward, I am a coward. If I ever have a date in Disneyland, I will probably not do it though. It's too Hasukashi. It's only with my girlfriends. I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> so much fun. If I remember anything else, when I'm streaming something else, I will probably say it. <laughs> they, in Disneyland, it's too expensive? I guess. I, I, I don't know if they have the same culture in Japan, but in America... What? I don't know if in any other country in the West, but over here... One of the worst, like, date... Places you can go to is Disneyland. Because, uh... They say that in Disneyland, which is low-key true... You just line up. So it's just a lot of hours just, like, using them lining up. And sometimes it becomes awkward. And sometimes you don't know... You just go to Disneyland when you know the person a little bit more because then you don't know how, what to talk about. So like, Disneyland Loki is not the best place to go on a date. I don't know if it's the same in Japan or not. なんか、すごく言うことがあるので、なんかアメリカにはとアメリカにはさ、あの、なんていうの。なんかかななんかディズニーじゃないってみたいななまあ片言になっちゃってる日本語なんかディズニーランドにはなんかそんなにいいデートできる場所じゃないっていつも言うけどそうだよなんかなんかアトラクション乗りたいならラインがすごく
That's not true. Damn it. Fucking. Disneyland. <laughs> what about you can always be a child with us? What happened? <laughs> I don't know why, but why are you giving birth in Disneyland? Maybe it's an emergency or something. <laughs> なかよしのことへ行くのがいいよ。そうだよ。女の子の友達と行くのはいいよ。ごめんね。でもやっぱりその方がいいんじゃない。He's already asking me to play. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting old. I love Disney. <laughs> Alright, my loves. My chicken is gonna be here anytime soon, so I'll leave it here so I can rest. I'll see you guys tomorrow twice. Okay. <laughs> でも、他の人のことを好きな、好きならお金ちゃんと使えよ。やば、なんかめちゃくちゃなんかめんどくさいような、の夢じゃない。今なんかもらったんだけど。レイムのことが好きなら、お金ちゃんと使えよ。ディ